Are you going to...? Um, it, it, it's that, or I, I, I could uh, play up the noble thing and try to hire him. I'm assuming it's he. That was very rude. That was very rude. It's a she. It's a she now. You take three damage points for sexism. <laughs> Seconded. <laughs> Do you want to go hit on her? I think you both should. Yeah. How, 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 how do we both hit on someone? I've never hit on anyone before. We don't actually hit them. And hello, welcome to episode 10 of Who Lives Who Dice. My name is Matt Bateman and I'm joined once again by the incredible splendid Sasha Burgoyne, the gallivanting Guy Samuels. <laughs> 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 the thing, yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah. The was riveting great. Rose Redon. Oh. The Bonjour. charitable Cheryl Burniston. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Absolutely not. And the dashing David Cox. Hey. We're here again. Uh, ten episodes in. It's it's feeling good. It's it's a good time. Yeah. Good good to go again. Um yeah, that was charitable, not quite not quite there. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like CH, there's not a lot of like good compliment sounds that start with CH Cheryl, so uh, Chocolate. Cho- the, the chocolate Cheryl Burniston. Take that I'm charitable, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Charming. Charming. Cheeky. Charismatic. Cheeky, cheeky. Charismatic. 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 Moving on. Uh, right, we're going to find out some other stuff about characters. So instead of recaps or. Um, oh, fuck that again. Fun fact, I'm going to roll a dice yeah, and wherever it lands depends. Someone gets to ask anyone a free question. Ooh. So mm. this evening we have a. Five. Ooh. David. David. David Diggs. Not, not, not Daddy David. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go for. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, obviously she doesn't kind of have one, I don't think, but if Myla's house was on fire... Right. ...and she could Topical. save one object... Yeah. ...what would it be? Okay, I'm assuming Cyril isn't an object in <laughs> no, this. He's no, not. Cyril's probably just, like, on Left the shoulder. Or already out of the house because he's smart. Yeah, Cyril set the fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Otherwise, oh, how would you that's learn? a really good question. Um... I mean, probably, probably my staff. Like, it's quite. I don't really have many like worldly possessions. So, um, no. At the moment, it would. Oh yeah, it'd be a, a close toss up between the staff and the book that Alexi gave her because I think that's like the two things she owns basically. And those are the two things you value most above everything else. Only ask because the book Alexi gave you is that that high on your list already. I just, she doesn't have anything else. <laughs> Like not really. She's wow. got like some like little other weapons and things, but they're not particularly like Sentiment. special to her and stuff. Mm. Like she doesn't really have any sentimental stuff. Cute. So like, yeah, I think it's probably those. And Alexia, how, how does that make you feel that she would save your? Well, that's that's kind of sweet. Aww. You know, that's that's got me where I live. I don't mind saying, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. And where do you live right now? I, like I was going to say. Yeah, where, where, is, where is that? The open road. The open, yeah. the open road. <laughs> On the horizon. Yeah. Yeah. It is yeah. important to like to st- say that like, there's nah, no competition. <laughs> like, <laughs> All I'm hearing is Myla's in love with Alexi, so it's fine. Yeah, she'll take, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, take, it, yeah. take it that way. Whatever yeah. you, you should have asked. If, exactly, right? Yeah, you should have asked her, has Myla ever been in love with someone? Then you'd have known. You know, <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to go back <laughs> to roundabout way. That is a great question. Yeah. Go on, guys. For the next episode, yeah. can we have people type questions, perhaps, that engage in a show? And then we roll a dice to pick which one, and then they get to. I could, I could throw something together like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Type in the comments like, you know, this is my question, and then we do it. So if you want to type in the comments, <laughs> right? <now. laughs> a link in the description, and well, they add it's just Lickle. not, not Lickle. Guy Samuels. <laughs> D twenty two is my favorite character. How did you get a plus two weapon? At like, <laughs> you're on to me. I know. You're, you're pondering, Rose. Yeah, how do we do that if we're not actually streaming live? Well, we can put it on social and do it on the next round of shooting that we ah, do yeah. every yeah, year. First, first 10 or 20 questions or whatever, and then allocate each question to a dice, roll the dice, and then... Roll the dice. Roll, roll the questions. Mm. Anyway. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. oh. God again, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. Certain, certain generic other D&D shows may, may have uh, influenced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, um, with that being said, uh, let's hunker down and kick off with our next episode of Who Loves Your Dice. So, in our last episode, uh, Saskia snuck out uh, after receiving a note, finding the copper grate, later revealed to be the dusted brand, and met a rather eccentric, evil-looking halfling, selling some rather rylinthium looking smuggled weaponry. Um, she went back to get the coin purse, which she snuck back from Lexi, only to have Myla bring uh, herself along. And after a slight altercation between the just two... Just a slight altercation. Just a slight altercation... Uh, between the two, uh, and Saskia not so subtly threatening the wizard, a short fight ensued which resulted in the wizard's death, snapping his staff, setting the place ablaze with a, uh, let's say an errant firebolt, hitting an explosive barrel which had been carelessly placed by the DM in the corner, and uh, Myla escaping, getting May away, and with the help of the town guard, getting Saskia out safely, briefly. Um, the guard investigating the fire, realising it wasn't as... Suspicious so at this stage, the party isn't currently under arrest, but are being watched and have been instructed not to leave. Tensions high with them still being locked in the town for at least another day while the investigation continues, and the ever growing presence of Sarek looming over Mayway. What would you like to do as we come into the tavern, or your room rather, having just finished some conversations? And eating. Sorry, and yes, eating. It's the yes. of in the middle of conversations. A very hungry Alexi uh, was offered the arm. Of Saskia, uh, and upon taking a single bite, Saskia suddenly collapsed, fainting into Mayway's arms, which is where we find ourselves now. I'm just going to put Saskia on the bed. Cool. Uh, Lexi just kind now of straightens up. Rest. Is she going to be okay? You didn't kill her. Oh no no no! I, okay. I I barely got anything. Like that's oh. that's really not going to sustain me for very long at all. We'll do for another day. Yes. And then we'll tackle that tomorrow when we left. Hmm. You all right? Hmm. Um. Not my place. I'll. Mm. What? Hmm. Nothing. I I I need to. Uh, Oh, here we go. I'm unconscious, but I was going... Wow, <laughs> straight, uh, straight into the, like... <laughs> I... <laughs> That's very odd. Um, uh, right. n- n- nothing. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite all right. Nothing, uh, nothing to be alarmed about. Oh, my God. Does he look any different? Inside check. Inside, uh, inside check. check, go for it. He's doing, you're doing mm. a lot of weird things with your face right now. Yes, sorry. Uh, mouth's a bit numb. What? <laughs> mm. Is that normal? No. Seventeen. He, he uh, I mean, he's he's smacking his lips a bit, like he's got in a mouth, but he doesn't look any different. No. Uh, the only sorry, the only thing that would be different is while he was feeding, Alexi's eyes would have been red, and now they're slowly bleeding back into blue. It, do you uh, normally do the afterwards? No, no, no. Normally, there's a slight dab with a handkerchief, and I carry on with my so day. So, what are you doing? Uh, my mouth is really numb. And Why are is you it numb? I I don't know. It's never happened before. No. Can I just point out, Saskia's also just lying unconscious yeah, on, no, the, on the bed. Yeah, I put her in her bed. Yeah, but she's just lying unconscious yeah. on the bed. She's we checked out. that she yeah. was like, okay, If yeah. someone isn't stroking my hair, I'll be very... <laughs> <laughs> I will go over and check her pulse and, like, move her hair out cool. of her face. <laughs> but that doesn't normally happen. No. And that's not cause for concern. Do you normally make them go unconscious? Or? Um, well... 
I'm trying to think of a sensitive way of saying this, but alas, there isn't one. You um, didn't leave him alive. Well, most of the time, no. And frankly, after the thing, I'm sort of out of the way and gone. So uh, there's not much... Uh, this is now the longest I've remained around a living person after I've uh, drunk from them. Okay. Is that going to be awkward for you? In what way? Is it going to be awkward for you now that you haven't just immediately run off and don't ever have to think about them again. Mm. Mala, do you, do you think you could heal her? I, I, I don't want to wake her up if she's sleeping. But I also... Yeah. I mean, if that's still going, Alexi's just like... Oh so. yeah, no, no, if there's like... I was, I was sort of like, I wasn't sure... Is anyone else going to? I can, I can help, I can... I, I don't really a, hold know... Holds a cup there. I don't know if what I do will help, but I can try. Just, just, if she's unconscious dying, then healing will be good. But if she's asleep, I, the only way I know to check would be to try and wake her up and that it defeats her purpose. Okay, sleeping. I'll, yeah, I'll give her a quick heal. Yeah, yes, no, no, no. The, the, this is, this is fine for me, but um, that, that is she's, now. She's not bleeding that much. She's not like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like it's dripping out a little like a Alexi's cup. Alexi's just using two cups to like, <laughs> yeah. it. like it's, 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 it's dripping like you would need you to. You've literally just got your knees you're like a cat when they're under a tap and they're like, <laughs> 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 like Not for long. Um, <laughs> my little uh, thought you were. Um, oh no. So we don't, okay, I don't want her to get up. I don't want her to wake up. Oh, stop the blood work, didn't it? Um, stop bleeding. And I'll cast you Nothing happens. Um, what? I was worried this would happen. What? What's happening? I don't know, but it's not... It's not a normal wound, right? That is correct. That Although, um, magic if, you, if you don't mind, I'm just going to quickly, and Alexi just takes out one of his uh, spare bandages and just wraps it around the wound. That, I'm finding that very distracting. <laughs> Saskia, Saskia, and I'm just gonna shake her. Yeah, go for it. Yep. Yep. So yeah, Saskia, Saskia, you slowly stir awake and just, just your arm feels. I would have been there, I imagine. Your arm. So it's like you've taken about four or five injections once. Your arm is on fire, (coughs) right up, (coughs) up up the left, and you feel. All right. right. Okay, she's not dead. Uh, Myla, do you think you could just heal me, please? I did. What? I did. Oh. So you, you, you feel drained and you just feel incredibly tired and the white has is, is mm. like just filled her face. The colour has gone from her face. Um, you haven't lost any hit points, uh, but you have suffered an additional two levels of exhaustion. She's so she three, three levels of exhaustion right yep. now? She failed a concept. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my mouth's uh... I think she is not very well. What I... do you think, gang? I would very much recommend that uh, at least a couple days in bed. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, we can't leave, so Mm. we have to leave. Well, yeah, we have to spend an extra day here, I suppose. Yes. Right. Quite. We should come up with a way of... All right, Saskia, do you want to go to sleep? Yep. All right. Solving this better in the future. Let's just say that we are, like, all whispering now so that Saskia can sleep. Yeah. Why don't we go and talk in my room so she can rest? All right. Yeah. Can anyone, like, watch her in any way? I could... I mean, other than staying, not really. I just want to make sure no one comes into the room or anything. Could you leave Cyril with her? I could leave Cyril with her, yeah. Um, he just, yeah, he'll run and find one of us, or... Rest us. I mean, it's it's debatable whether he'll do that. It's sort of up right. to Cyril, but it will make me feel better. Right. I'll like leave him to like nestle up with Ooh. Saskia. He comes and he curls up and he like lies on your chest like a little cat and just does like the the dog thing. Oh, just turns it. Like, so it's... Yeah. yeah, you you fall asleep quite quite easily. No, no real. You you're just exhausted. Yeah, absolutely drained. Excuse the pun. <laughs> All right. What do we do? I mean, what what do we have to do for another day? Just wait, I suppose. Yeah, I guess so. Um, oh, we said we'd go see Solomon. 
Oh, yes, I've, uh, I, I've told him that we'll be a, a, a little bit late, but uh, that we will pop by. Oh, okay. Oh, right. You guys made a friend? Yeah. Yeah, Aww. yeah, yeah. We had a very, we had a good day. Yeah, a good day yesterday. Um, yeah. Amazing. I didn't offend anyone. It was lovely. No, no um, Alexi made friends with people. Mm. I barely helped. Oh, wow. And he got me a book. Um, really? Oh, oh, that's so cute. What's your book about? Um, it's about this place. This place? The Painted Maze. Oh. Sort of. It's about how it... I think. I have i haven't read it yet. There hasn't been time. Sorry. It, oh, I, no, I, no I've, I've been with you most of the... Oh, aside from my... Uh, yes, so you're, yeah. you're fine. Right. How do you know if you are friends with someone? Oh, um, well, he was very, very happy. And when I uh, came b- b- back back to his, to his shop to... Um, to talk to him, uh, he was, was very insistent on abandoning his current customer and speaking with me, which then I felt a bit guilty about, so I brought them back. Oh, wow. Mm. So you talked to another stranger by yourself? Yes. And you didn't upset them? I don't think so. You're making <laughs> real progress. I, wow. Well, I feel strange um, celebrating my progress while, um, yeah. you know... Yeah. Yes. She will be all right. It's just going to be unpleasant. Yeah. I am detecting that you feel happy. You don't eat, do you? Negative. Right. Um, For my people, hunger isn't quite... The same. I, I don't. I don't really remember a time where I wasn't like this. But I've, I've, I've had it described to me, and for us, it feels like your essence is dying. It's. It's not just a slight discomfort that grows. It, it is a. All of you feels weaker. Uh, it becomes harder to think. Uh, my thoughts are increasingly uh, less about, uh, you know, what I should be doing or, or, or uh, how to best, you know, uh, figure out my, my plan or my research or anything like that. And it is more and more on food. I think that happens to most people when they're hungry. But yes, uh, not, yes. not the dying mm. essence part. Yes, that it's, it's very odd. Just when you haven't had anything for a while, you start to think about it a lot more. Yes, the, I, I haven't heard of any instances where one of my family has gone um, too long. Mm. Uh, I, I, did, I did try to subject myself to um, a number of days without uh, drinking, and uh, uh, my family very, very quickly insisted on uh, my feeding. It wasn't, well, it was less insistent and more they forced me to do it. What happens if you don't eat? Uh, the eyes begin to change. Uh, the fangs stay. The longer it goes, the more like... Uh, what you look like when you came out of that town, that portal? Yes. Uh, after a certain amount of time... With an old mummy? Yes. I'll appear quite desiccated. Um, yes, it's... If that happens again... Hmm. Could we fix that by just feeding you blood? Oh, yes, but uh, that... When that happened, I was dying. I, I, could, I could feel it. Uh, I was... I wouldn't have seen out the day. So we couldn't have fixed you by just giving you some blood? No, I would need to completely drain someone. How did we fix them? We threw you... back. Mm. Ah, yeah. Mm. Right, well... Would you become deaded if you don't have blood? Uh, yes, I... I die of starvation. Mm. <laughs> okay. Also, mm. sometimes my abilities can uh, weaken me as well. I have to use my own blood, so therefore there's less of it to be used. Sometimes it, it's it's a gamble. Can you, can you drink your own blood? Uh, I've not tried. Just. Uh, it seems a little bit like cannibalism, which might have. Uh, it may not have some problems or it might really affect me in certain ways. I, mm, that's not one question I need answering. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
But Let's yes. go see a friend, I guess. We Other need to have a more permanent solution to this. I wonder if there's a cleric around here that could maybe help her. I don't know. I, I don't know, because this is kind of a this is kind of a shanty town, right? Uh it's it's think of it like a services on the side of a road. It's 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 yeah, grown so a lot in, in chances boat. are they don't have it. There, there wouldn't church. be like a dedicated temple, but there's like a couple of traveling clerics if you looked around. Certainly, there'd be someone. It's not really. I don't really know much no, about just, it. Yeah, I don't know someone who could help her. Well, mm-hmm. you couldn't help her, so maybe no one can help her. I don't know. I'm not that great at the healing. I'm more of the damaging. I noticed actually. I can, you know, I can do a. Do a Bit, but I don't really get it. Yeah. Fair. Um, speaking of which, are you okay? You've, um, you, you seem a pretty peaceable person. And, uh, you've, do, you've done a lot of fighting recently. And it's not easy to kill people. And I just wanted to check if I you were. I don't right. really have a problem with killing people. Yeah? Alright. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure that you. Have someone to talk to if you wanted to. Had I given the impression that I'm, I, I didn't want to be killing people, no. or that I, no, it's just when I do it, it weighs on me. I, uh, yeah, I guess it, I guess it weighs on me a, a, a bit. I mean, it, it's for a good cause, right? So, yeah, just, yeah. You are very effective at killing people. Yeah. Hmm. Well, the logic is uh, quite simple in most fights we've had thus far. Uh, if you didn't kill them, they would kill you. Yeah, exactly. You, there's no further thought. Or like they were stealing things or All right. we were, you know, there were reasons. Like there was... Yeah, no, I know, I know. It's just, maybe it's just me. Maybe I, I'm, it's just I'm the one thinking about it too much. You would say if someone is going to kill you, it is fine to kill them. Oh, yes, I mean, that, 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 yeah, that, that, that's self-defense. That's fair. You also got to defend yourself. This is not a bad thing? No, no, of course not. Well, it can feel like a bad thing, you know. It, it can still feel wrong to do it. Mm. it but One still, time... I would pick me over goblins that were coming to kill us, but I still didn't feel great for killing loads and loads of people. There's always, you know, there's always a better way, I, I think. I understand. One time I killed someone and forgot to take their gold and I felt bad. (laughs) Oh, That makes sense because then they've died without the purpose, right? Mm. Mm. Um, I don't even know how to begin to unpack that. To clarify then, does that make what I do okay? With me? No, no, I I just... just Generally? Generally, with the um, drinking. Because Uh, then that is is purpose, surely. Yeah, I've not really had a problem with it. It's okay with Myla. You hear footsteps just walking past the room. Now carry on. To be fair, it just sounds like Alexi's an alcoholic if they heard him say he has a drinking problem. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go see a friend? Yes, and let's um, see if we can uh, find some kind of cleric. Uh, mm-hmm. t- simply because if we do need to uh, get out of town, then it might be helpful if she can stand. Yep, yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Mm. Good. I'm really sorry. I wish I could do that. I just don't. No, I mean, it's all right. It's not. It's not your responsibility. It's just I've seen you. I've seen you do amazing things with your powers. So, mm. not that amazing. I mean, you pulled most of us up from death. So, and sent a couple of us no closer to it, but or one at least. Yeah. Shall we go see a friend? I'm, I need to get out of this room. I need to move around. I need to think about better things. Mm. Do you know Addie is dead? Yeah. yeah. She, the woman, Rayla? Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Cool. And Mary just leaves the room. Or she opens the door. It's like... Mm-hmm. So, all four of you going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like to see we'll just... Sarah the little scratch before he leaves. Kill <laughs> back on. 
Cool. And you head, you head out of the city streets. And, you know, it's mid-morning now. Things are starting to pick up with the excitement of this morning passing through. But you make your way down the streets without without too much without too much in the way of harassment or, or anything. Uh, you, you do notice uh, a, a rather rough-looking youth walk side by side with Alexei briefly, but then makes eyes with you and then quickly scarpers off after what would possibly be an attempt to pickpocket. Realize maybe you don't. Alexei, put your hands in your pockets. Well, that, that, that's terribly uncouth. <laughs> Do you want to keep your gold? <clears throat> put your hands in your pockets. Out of boy. Um, but before long, the four of you arrive uh, at the front of the rather dishevelled carriage that is Solomon Solutions. Oh, that's cute. Uh, Alexi is just going to stand out in front of you. Solomon, just a second, and you hear like some bangs and crashes and like a little bit of like like some front of it. Solomon, it's Alexi. Oh, <laughs> one second. And my love. Oh, a very second, and he comes running out. Bit of smoke coming in, some soot across his face. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. Oh, um. Hello. Master Solomon, allow me Hi. the great pleasure to introduce you to uh, Lady Mayway and uh, D22. Oh, Lady, Lady Mayway? And he, he bows and oh. <laughs> D22 and he, he <clears throat> tips his hat. He's not wearing a hat. It's just like some gross strands of hair that are sort of like flopping over, which are burnt off a little bit at the tips. And... Hello. Uh, great. Are these your friends you were telling me about? Yes, yes. Pleased to meet you, honey. Lovely to meet you. Oh, oh you weren't lying. They're, they're great. Oh, man. I've heard so many wonderful things about, about all of you. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, great. So, um, yeah, how can I help? I got, I got plenty of cooking in the back. Well, um, we're actually, we're, we're maybe thinking of uh, what, what sort of potions you uh, had available. Also, a friend of ours is a little bit under the weather. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it, is it you? You look, you look terrible. Do I? Yes. Why? What's wrong with <laughs> you? You just look a bit pale. Oh yes, I'm fine. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. No, 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 no. It's 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 it, it, it's quite all right. He um, spent his whole life in a library, so no sun. I mean, I spent most of my time inside as well. I can completely relate to that. This is the thing you do. Anyway, so wait. Back to business. Um, yes. So our, our friend is um, she's 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 quite exhausted, quite tired. Uh, right. Might you have anything that could um, uh, revive her, so to speak? Ah, uh, well, we do have we do have some some things. I can I can throw something to you. It might take me a little bit to bring her back up. But has something happened, or is she just? Oh, just dead tired. Just dead tired. Dead like, like, like a vine? Uh, something like that. A bit of vine yes. Yes. Sort of yes. Okay, cool. A little bit of blood loss just uh, from a fight. A bit of blood loss? Not, not, a, not a dangerous fight, just, uh, you know. Just, just a regular fight? Just a regular fight. Oh. We, well, I, I'm sure you've heard, we just came from killing uh, Club Gun. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, yes. that. Right, and she's still injured from that. Well, you? it was a bit of a battle. No, no, I completely understand. Okay. Mm. Um, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll knock some stuff together and see. Excellent. Um, but yes, what, what else? What else can I interest you in? Uh, do you want to fly? Do you want to breathe underwater? Do you want to be extra strong? Do you need some healing potions? <laughs> what What can I do for you, Sam? I've got Milo. a few things on, on the back that I need to get rid of. Um, uh-huh. Pack off to Aerith soon. Milo is going to stop and just turn to D22 and be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what what do you have for sale? I have lots for sale. What what, what can I do you for, friend? Hmm, I would like You're to... You're fascinating, by the way, is it? Thank you very yes. much. I like your hat. I was going to say, do you like my hat? I do like your hat. It's very sharp. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> would you be able to um, tell me some items you have that would make me better myself? Well, what? Well, I can make you lots of things better than yourself. What is something you've always wanted to do? Tell me right now. You can have it right now. Three, two, one. I would like... Seven coppers. Seven coppers? But without coppers, I would like to fly. You would like to fly? Well, I've got this wonderful little thing, and he pulls out this little sort of grey potion with a few, like, feathers inside it. One, like, long one that looks like from a seagull, a couple of small ones from a hummingbird. This, you drink this, you'll be able to fly. Simple as that. Like, free of the bird, you can just sort of, like, get up and float about for about an hour of last. Complete flight, no strings attached, because you're flying, you don't need strings to pull you up. It's, it's easy. Ha, uh, ha. Uh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Great. So this this is 180 gold. It's a little bit more expensive, but for flight, I think it's very well worth it. One time use, um, and can't be too big. Like you can't get a giant pair. There's got to be someone like small or your sort of size is about as big as it. So he puts that on there. <clears throat> um, and then this one, and he pulls out a, another uh, quite a large sort of long elongated veil with quite an intricate neck around it, and it's frosted on the outside with like a deep blue. It always looks frozen and he moves it, and there's a little bit of liquid around, around a frozen, sort of like a heart in the middle. Um, this is the potion of Frost Giant Strength. So it's very cold to drink, but it makes you super strong for about an hour as well. This one, 
This one I sort of found on a caravan. Um, I've been keeping it while for a special customer. Um, but this one will make you super, super strong. Uh, yeah. Um, like I haven't really tested it myself. Um, but I heard, yeah, it's good, good things. But I don't know if it'll work on you. Not like because you haven't got. He flexes and like nothing happens, but he flexes and. Uh, would thing. you say we are mates, mate? <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> and how much would that cost us? Uh, well, at the moment you'd be looking about five hundred. Uh, not five hundred. Sorry, uh, about three hundred gold for the for the for the strength potion. Um, but I can I can figure out a deal if you guys are looking for a few bits. I've got some health potion. Ooh, dirty twenty-two. Uh, thirty <gasps> for a friend of Alexei. I think I think we could figure something. I could I could probably knock off another thirty gold for you if, if you like. It, it is it is one of a kind. Um, and also this this potion of water breathing uh, for eighty gold. Um, does what it says on the tin. And there's like little fish scales and like a fish bone in the middle as well. Mm-hmm. You can swim into water. Uh, but this one gives you 24 hours mm. to breathe underwater with this one. Recently I purchased my good friend <coughs> Alexei a nice item from a shop and he was very grateful. I think he'd like to buy me the flying potion, please. <laughs> Solomon turns and looks expectantly. I mean, yeah, I feel like that's what friends should do. <laughs> oh, what a sell! I take ten percent off the price, so it'll be one hundred and sixty-five gold for the flying potion, and uh, well, the strength potion for two hundred and seventy. Right. Um. I. I. I don't need the strength one. No. I was going to suggest. Well, I suppose you've uh, uh, twisted my arm. <laughs> Haven't seen that tactic used in a while. Um. How about the uh, the the potion of flying for my friend over here, and uh, the water breathing potion I suspect would be incredibly useful for us to have just as an option. Sure. Right. How much would they both be in? Uh, right, yes, let me let me just check right now. Uh, I think, oh, care of the one I can do for both, let's say 225 gold and seven coppers, because we're friends, mate. Does anyone have um, a few spare coppers? Because I I, I, I don't carry that. <laughs> I think I do. I have a little bit of cash on me actually. You'll you'll like. I'm not going to count coppers. We can just say you've got coppers on you. <laughs> not, I'm not going to make you count to the coin, unless there's a reason you <laughs> want. Well, to I'm count coppers. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> just Alexi being so much of a dick. I don't carry coppers. <laughs> Actually, I have 14 gold and 53 silver. I mean, uh, uh, it's uh, it's coming off the party fund. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah. So Alexi, uh, well, hand, so to say, 275. Uh, 25. You can pay me 275 with a like. Uh, sorry, how? Uh, two, 225. 225, right, yeah. Uh, Alexi will hand over 225. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, and seven coppers? And seven coppers. Oh, thank you. Little bomb. He hands them back. Cool, so you have a potion of <clears throat> water breathing for 24 hours and a potion of flying for one hour. So one one time use. Okay. Medium or medium or small. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine just, just, just the market just flying. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Thank you, Alexi. <laughs> but the way flight works, you can basically use your movement speed in any direction. Nice. So, yeah, it's not levitate. Like, you could just take off if you wanted. Yeah, good to go. Alexi will take both potions and pop them in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a very uh, welcome, welcome thing. Uh, is there anyone else? Health potions at all? Um, if you come back in about three hours, I'll should have something for your friend. So, she's bleeding. And how much would that set us back? I'm not sure. Um, how much have you got? Not a lot. Not a lot. Let's say probably only about eighty-five gold. I think for something like this. Alexi. Yes. It might How work as well. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure. What do you think? I well, I think um, that if she spends the rest of uh, today uh, sleeping it off, um, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll get her the potion as well. Um, that should uh, with that and maybe a bit more rest on top of it. Maybe she just sleeps mm. through the full day, and with that potion. It might offset most of the uh, that the, the, the drained feeling she has, and okay. uh, that would give us at least a point where we can start uh, moving around. All right. Yeah. And we are sadly stuck here for another day, so. Well, we still get to meet lots of interesting people here, so we'll make the best that we can of it, right? Salmon, are there any uh, temples of Ion around here? I know not ch- much chance of a temple, 
but uh, I'm, I'm any, afraid. Any chance? <laughs> are you not not here? Sadly, um, there is an, uh, there's an arena to cord, um, up this way, um, which is quite fun. Um, oh yeah, what do you do there? Um, well, it's it's an arena. They fight each other to pray to God because the cord guys don't really get a lot going on. Right. It's good if you like a bit of entertainment. Um, it's probably about the most fun thing to do in the town during the day. Um, good evening stuff as well. I, I would check it out. Um, but I own no, they don't really do a lot of that around here. Fair. Um, uh, am I right in thinking then the closest temple to I own is back in Ayers? Yes. Right. Thank you so much for your help. No, it thank you so very much. It was an absolute you. pleasure. You have some wonderful friends. Oh, thank you. Um, sorry, one <clears throat> further yes, question. Of um, well, two further questions rather. Um, the, the, the this this uh, arena. Mm-hmm. Uh, can one um, can one bet? On the fighters? Oh, absolutely. Or, or can one enter as a fighter? Both. Right. Are there any ground rules? No magic? No... Uh, there's a couple. I, I, I'm not much of a fighter. Um, I do know it's more about um, melee prowess than magical prowess, so right. wizards don't really get a shout in there. But yeah, if you've got a good sword or a good bow, um, yeah, no, you, you should be good. And um, again, apologies. I'm not uh, a one for southern customs. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is uh, I, if I was to uh, search for a, a temple to uh, dedicated to the Raven Queen, the Raven Queen. Yes. Um, okay. Now they they operate. They do operate in this area, um, but they're on the outskirts. They don't really like burying the dead near the tavern. Um, but yeah, I think if you took about a three-hour hike east, right, um, northeast sort of towards Milford, there's there's a temple on the way up there. It's, it's, it's a little run down, but yeah, they could they could definitely. How quickly would that be on horseback? Horseback, you'd be looking about half an hour, give or take. If the traffic's busy, maybe a little bit longer, but yeah, it's not too bad. I don't think I'd need to worry about the traffic. <laughs> okay, then. I, I will explain, but I'd quite like to go. Mm-hmm. Sure, I suppose it feels a bit... I don't know, I'd be worried about leaving Saskia. Ah, yes. Oh, we're not allowed to leave the city, are we? Oh, right. Well, that's not quite leaving the city, is it? Uh, the outskirts, you said. Le- you would not be able to leave the <coughs> actual mm. perimeter of the city. Um, like you've if, got to stay within the within the. And walls. the Raven Queen's outside the perimeter. Of yes. The city. Ah, yeah. If when we leave here, we could go in that direction, I I, I would be grateful. Yeah, sure. Would be. Um, yeah, I mean, we need to discuss where we're going when we leave here because I don't know. I it seems not. Uh, sorry, Simon. This is not. No, no, it's completely <laughs> fine. I. This doesn't sound like something I have to listen to. Or uh, it? Yeah, it's just... We'll, we'll come back later. There's got to be some... we got to figure out where we'll go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, which direction is the arena? Um, uh, it's about this way, and you listen. You can hear, like, some chairs deep in the distance. Definitely cool. sort of sort of happen. Yeah, yeah then I think it's just going to sort of point the way and go, could we maybe be able to uh, earn a bit of money? I am a master gambler. Gambling is in my blood. You don't have any blood, huh? In my oil. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Just a thought. Especially if we have nothing really yeah, to, got nothing do to do today. Mm. I might read a bit. Oh yeah, speaking of reading, maybe that uh that that's a bunch of papers I gave you? Ah, yes, of course. At some point? Yes, no, not not a problem at all. Thank you for reminding me. Uh yes, I will I'll tend to them. Um I if you don't mind I could use your assistance. In what? In figuring out this cipher. Okay, and then we gamble. How about we shall try and figure out the cipher until uh, Solomon's finished making the the potion, and then af- after that we can go and g- gamble or or participate. And you know, I mean, it's a bit vulgar, but uh, you know. Mm-hmm. Every time Gamble is mentioned, his eye, D23's eyes go from red to green, just temporarily, and he's a little bit tra- in a bit of a trance. Ding, ding, ding. Then, nope. um, ding, yes, ding, okay. Ding. We make sure we are all together, then we gamble. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, well then, uh, I can't exactly work on a cipher out here, so uh, we should probably head back to uh, to my room. Mm-hmm. Cheeky bet on the way back, or uh, why, why, don't, why, don't, why don't we just go straight <laughs> back to work? Cheeky. Okay. Uh, what makes a bet cheeky? Cheeky bet. A bet used with insider information. Uh, we don't have any of that. Unless uh, unless we were to have uh, myself or Mayway fight and bet on them, but I would have to look at the skill of the fighters to see if that's a viable 
economic well, option. Then we could bet on you losing, if we thought that it was going yeah, to be the other way around. Yeah, we could hedge our bets. <laughs> well, no, like if we if we turned up and it was some like, I don't know, huge four armed axe wielding maniac. Maybe it would be you, Marla. Maybe you should fight. I do, I'm magic. Mm. You said yeah, but. Like, maybe they won't be able to tell, because, like, you, I've seen you do something to that staff before. That makes it strong. You yeah, know? where I make the magical icicles all appear out of it. It's a little bit of a giveaway. It might be a little on the nose. <laughs> yeah, it's a mm. little much. Mm. All right, Sorry. Better. If no, I no, could no, make no, metal just... come out of it, sure, but... No, it's just... <laughs> I'm not really... I don't really feel like fighting for sport right now, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like if Alex is trying to keep a low profile, putting him in the arena might not be the best. Yeah, you becoming the, like, new hero <laughs> of the arena might not be optimal. No, I my suggestion likely would have been uh, Mayway, but if you're not feeling it, then shall we? Yeah. Right. We'll um, we'll go and do that. And what are the two of you going to do? I don't know. You can come to sisters if you like. Yeah. Yeah. I'll observe for sure. Yeah. Great. Cool. So you guys make your way mm -hmm. are you back to the Painted Maze? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So as you're making the way back to the Painted Maze, just going to cut back to Saskia. Oh. Quickly. <laughs> First thing I need from you uh, is your passive perception. 16. Fucking what? Cool. That same dream, similar to what you had a mm. few nights ago, recurs. This time you're all alone and the rain and the thunder striking. You're sitting on the cliffs looking over and instead of your friend and family in the townsfolk next to you, instead in the clouds in the distance you just see faces looking back at you. You see your dad, your mum, your siblings, but every so often an, over an overarching, a looming face with a long blue beard keeps appearing and flashing into you and every time you see it you just wince and fear a little bit but that's all you hear is just the wind and the rain what would you like to do? that's in a dream right? as far as you know but if I'm dreaming I'm still asleep I'm still asleep dreaming this? Or mm -hmm. does it wake me up? you're still, you're still dreaming you're in yeah. the dream yeah um how fearful is she? Like, is the wince, do you know what I mean? Like... It's not less fair and it's more you feel unease. Something's not quite right. You feel unease, like something's on the rise. Like deep in your gut you feel like something is wrong. Something isn't quite right with this picture in front of you. And you can't, you can't understand why. You don't recognise that face looking down at you. Um, I jump off the cliff. In the dream. Cool. You jump off the cliff. Yep. And you fall and you fall. And just before you hit the bottom, a bolt of lightning comes and strikes you and launches you back up. And you land back up on top of the cliff again. She jumps off again. Same thing happens. You fall and you throw, you hurl yourself down, head first, aiming for the rocks at the bottom where the surf meets, meets the rock face. And once again, the bolt of lightning catches and you are shot straight back up and you land on your feet, poised. Um... Are there other faces, are the faces um, of the people I know, of my family, are they happy faces? Are they, what, what's the emotion coming from those faces? They're neutral, except for the one of your dad. It's nothing but contempt. The large face, the <coughs> one, so if you've got the one to the front, the one at the top, is looking expectant. And by dad, you mean? Your father, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think she can take, she, she's getting frustrated at the fact that she can't get out of this loop. Um, uh, can she try and throw something? Is, are there any rocks around? That There's she some rocks just, around? Yeah. Can try and throw some I think rocks. she just wants to, just sort of in frustration, she wants to sort of launch something. She's getting angry. Sure. Um, and she, she starts throwing. So you hurl, well, make, 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 an, make an attack roll for me. Roll a d20. 12. So you throw the rock, the rock flies out, and suddenly the wind picks up and blows back. Hits you square in the chest. And you just hear a deep rumble over the wind. Again. Oh shit. 
Um, now she's just fucking curious. So she she throws it again. She Go on then. You shouldn't. <laughs> you playing catch with your dad right now? <laughs> uh, 14. Goes out a little further. The wind catches it. Throws it back at you. Hits you square in the chest. Harder this time. Again. I want to say, like, now she probably launches it, but that really... Does she probably launch it? No, she doesn't properly launch it. She just starts <laughs> throwing it weaker this time because she's getting yeah, tired. Your arms, your arms are a little yeah. tired. And you've had two rocks hit you in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> it's not pleasant. Very true. <laughs> Goes down, picks it up, throws it back. You managed to dodge this one. Yeah. Good. Again. Okay, okay, okay. She's on board. <laughs> she's not. Nine. Nine. Throws it back at you. Completely misses. This time the rock lands at your feet. Again. Natural one. The natural one. You throw it at yourself. You pick up the rock. Mm-hmm. And you hold it and you look at it and as you're about to throw it, you feel electricity come up through your arm and the rock just sort of disintegrates away. And you hear the voice, a very familiar voice, disappointed. And the dream fades and your sleep continues unabated. Back in the city. So we're trying to do the cipher thing, right? Yep. Cool. Yeah, Alexia is gonna um, probably do it in the other room, as to not disturb Saskia's sleep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll just like open the door and mm-hmm. check on her. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Just close it again. Make a dexterity save. <laughs> Fuck what? Make a dexterity save. But I was just checking on. Yep. Make a dexterity save. Okay. Oh shit. Um, saving throws are over here. Uh, 16. 16. You, as you open the door, you hear a very familiar click and you step back just in time as a large knife, not knife, sorry, large sword that had been leaned against falls down in front of where you would have walked into. And as you look, you see there's a pulley attached to the door system and while you were gone, it had been trapped. In Saskia's room. In Saskia's room. Saskia, did you try the bloody room? And I walk in. Set off now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah safe now, as far as you can tell. Yeah, yeah, and Saskia's just asleep on the, in the bed? Yeah. What the hell is going on in here? Girl, that's, it's called a key. <laughs> I try and wake her up. Yeah, go for it. Saskia! Uh, uh, should we not wait, Saskia up? I'm gesturing to the trap. Uh, I could, where did this sword even come from? You I can could, have a look at it as well if you want to. I could ask yeah, Cyril. Alexi is going All to. Right. Do, he will draw the rapier. Cool. Um, but yeah, I want to investigate this make, trap. Make did, an investigation check. Did Cyril put the sword there? <laughs> this we'll is find out. out. Um, is, is it, it's not Saskia's not blade, is it? Nope. Right, that is a 13. Um, 13. Cool. Can we. Reckless, because like, I meant to say that I wanted to prepare some different spells, but speak with Daniels with one of them because I talked to Alexia about it before. Cool. So I was going nice. to swap one of those out. All right, cool. Um, um, so while well, well, you're doing that, that. Uh, yeah, like looking at it, you can see it's a very crudely, quickly made, very mm. amateur looking trap, whatever did this. Something that was set up very, very quickly and very quietly. Designed as a one time use when the door opens, and nothing more than that. Right. Like you've got a broadsword lying at your feet now, basically. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Alexi will just kind of do a point at the trap and just to the others, mouth the words, not Saskia. Shall I ask Cyril if he saw anything? How do you know? Yes. Yeah? Um, Did you want to watch? I, I'm... I'm going to prioritise something else for a minute. I don't know if we're alone in here. Yeah. So Shall I wait? The room? Absolutely. Yeah. Take a pass. I am turning that room upside down. Without Go for it. waking Without up, waking. Saskia. Go for it. Uh, 14. Roll the same. Yeah, go. Oh, yeah. Uh, investigation. Investigation, 14. Yeah. Cool. Nine. Nine. Oh, might as well, yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. 
dirty twenty. Dirty nice. twenty. <coughs> so all of you manage to quickly find a D twenty two. You lock onto it quickly. Um, you turn it around, and for the most part, your stuff is untouched. Your things are still there. Um, but underneath your bed, that you I look, never slept in. <laughs> that you never slept in. At one of the feet is a tiny little marble sized crystal ball that you don't recognize. This isn't mine. It's not mine. What is it? Mm-hmm. It's mine. Sure. <laughs> uh, maybe don't touch it. Nothing happens. <laughs> Alright. Fortune favours the bold. <laughs> is it actually yours, D? No. Is this a it's mine now sort of thing? It can be, as long as May I examine it first? Will you give it back? Yes. Uh, you get an arcana check. <clears throat> Am I good at that? Uh, I'm all right at that. I can. I, I'm quite high if I want to. Go. Um. Do we do it? What are you? I mean, I will just pass it back to you if I get nothing. Good, good job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, that's terrible. That's eleven. <laughs> Allow me. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, it, it looks like something you could divine with, but normally a crystal ball is much, much larger. This is tiny. Like it doesn't make sense. It looks like. First glance, maybe a sensor of some sort that you'd use. Mm. Perhaps Cyril has been using it as a <laughs> tiny crystal ball. Myla, perhaps now would be a good time. Okay. Um, He's I still like... there, right? Cyril's still there. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to kill the squirrel. Oh, no, just if he was missing. <laughs> um, That's the one thing that, yeah, sorry. Myla okay. will like gently wake Cyril up, assuming he has been asleep. Um, and <laughs> takes a little yawn. Yeah. <laughs> and Myla will sit down and sort of put Cyril in front of her, like looking at him. Be like, right, remember, like, we practiced. <sighs> okay, so Cyril, um, did you see anyone come into the room? I don't, um, no. Okay. Oh. Hear anything? No. Okay. What the fuck is going on? You've done this before. <laughs> no. Have I? Uh, yes. Wait, they're, they're watching. Not with them watching. Okay. No, I know. Do they? Can they hear me? I don't know what they. I think they can just hear you talking in your normal squirrel. You just hear chirps and squeaks. Yeah. And like yeah. I think they can just hear you squeaking. It's okay. Alexi waves. Help. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, no, I've, I've been sleeping the whole hold the shit. <laughs> He looks. He sees like the big sword clattered on the ground and like leaving the big curvin. Nope, didn't see this. Not at all. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That is concerning. Yeah. Oh well. Thanks for your help. Cool. You can go back to sleep if you want. Good night. Night. Cool. Uh, no, he didn't see anything. And. Wait, is, that, is Saskia okay? And I just look, like, kind of see Saskia's chest rising and falling. Yep. Okay, so sh- she's alive. She's still fast nope. asleep. <clears throat> she's alive, and someone came in and set a trap and left. This doesn't make sense. Someone smarter than me tell me why this makes sense. This doesn't make sense. We're supposed to... You would only place the trap here if you uh, intended to do anyone harm, but... That would only draw attention, so therefore the, the crystal, uh, which I presume is some sort of spying device, uh, you would draw attention to it, which is the opposite of what you'd want to do, mm-hmm. unless all of this is a decoy. Uh, maybe we should destroy it, the crystal. First things first, and Alexei is going to uh, leave Saskia's room and go to his uh, Sort of put the key in. Mm-hmm. Is it still locked? Still locked. Oh okay. god. He's gonna sort of like push it open with the rapier, but stay back. Sure. <laughs> yep. I have a theory. I could go in the room. You're gonna go in the room. I'm gonna go in the room. Cool. You go in the room. You open the door. Yeah. As far as you can tell, untouched. You can turn around if you turn it over if you like. Uh, and I'm going to light the buckler. So just the room's light. Cool. 
and yeah, turn that inside out. Great. Make an investigation check. Terrible. Uh, 13. 13. Um, you look and you check what you found the other one in the other room as well, and you don't see anything in there. Would there be... I'm going to put my hand up, please. <laughs> the school. Is there anything in my... Um, could I detect... Because I've got 30, 30 feet of detect evil, which includes objects and creatures and whatnot. You can try. Can I do that? Would, would that give me anything else above what that 21 did for investigation? Um, Can't wait to find out. I know you can't answer that per se, but like, is, is it worth? Is it, I'm gonna wonder if it's worth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that your compass wouldn't specifically be able to locate those those objects. No, there's a spell called locate object, which would be used for that sort of thing. So, um, but that specifically wouldn't work. Yeah. Uh, I could do that. You can do that. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Can do you want me to? Is it important enough to find one? Uh, but it's it, it's. Just, if someone's watching us, we yes, do need to get rid of them. But it, it, it's it's odd that there's one in your room and. Mine is trapped, but I've not been able to find anything. I was going to suggest that perhaps it would have been Saskia in her sleep if it was one room, but given that both of them are done, it could not have been her, so must be Intruder! Yes. But the question is... Hmm. So... You know how Saskia got called to that place? Oh, like, yeah. with the bow? that she really wanted. Oh, mm. yeah. And how there was Rylanthium being smuggled. Mm. And they weren't happy to see me. I assume that given that we've dealt with Rylanthium smugglers before and they were to do with Sarek? Sarek, all right. I he said something about the, the little notebook. The guy said something about his boss not being happy with a Filverell being in there. And, and the guards know where we are sleeping and living, so that information could have been passed between parties. But this is, this makes no sense. This, it, it, this is terrible. I, that, it's a hastily erected sloppy trap that, well, yours seemed relatively easy to duck out of the way of, and all I had to do was open the door without really immediately stepping in to avoid it. You all hear a footstep creak in the hallway outside. Still got Ravier in hand. (laughs) Alexei will sort of like um, pin himself against the wall. Oh, so what should we do for dinner tonight? Um, (laughs) Anyone got any good places we we should eat? Yes, um, I'm, I'm feeling very, very interested in oil to have this evening. Yeah, we can get you another bucket nice. of oil. Yeah, okay. I don't open the door. That sounds did, good. Sorry, did you cast locate object? I started, and then you said over the hook. So. Okay, cool. Just checking. I didn't. I didn't miss a spell being used there. Cool. Yeah. Great. So you open the door. Yeah, I'm just going to walk forward and pull the door open. Okay. So you open the door. You walk yeah. out into the into the hallway. I, pull, I open the door to see any, if anyone is there. I don't walk into the you, hallway. You yet. see, just out the corner of your eye, go around the corner, um, a dark shape move up and around the corner as you stick your head out. Were they just, like, is it just a person walking? You, you would need to follow them to find out. They were walking quite quickly. I am absolutely Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's go. Cool, so you, you, you chase around and you do, you turn to see uh, a dark hooded figure with a long sword. Um, attached to the back of the head and two more short swords at their side. Um, suddenly, and as they're running, they look back and they throw a small satchel. I throw forward my um, uh, flail to grapple. Okay, make an attack roll. <laughs> um, uh, 15. 15 just hits. Mm. Oh, wait, actually, it's not an attack roll. I think it's a save. It is a save. Okay, what's the grapple. save I need? 15. 15? Uh, Dex or strength? Strength. Strength. Roll a 19 on their strength. Um, Sorry. I will similarly cast Thorn Whip. Okay, so before we do any of this, we're going to roll initiative. Cool. Cool. Thank you. I've got 30 feet on that. (laughs) Cool. Cool. Uh, Right, bear with. He rolled a nat 1 on his sneak attack. All right. Oh, rouge. Mm -hmm. Oh, talk about yourselves for a second. Cool. God, I'm just so worried about Saskia. I'm like, oh my god, 
We should check on her. What if someone else has gone into her room while we were in the other room talking? Oh man, that's a good point. Maybe Saskia is the hooded figure. She got have a lot to fucking answer for then. Um, Saskia, you can also roll initiative as well if you want to be working out by the fighting to join in. It's up to you. Yeah, just with triple disadvantage or whatever. Yeah, no, three I think levels I'd like to three try and yeah, stay asleep. Yeah. What does three levels of exhaustion do? I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, look at um, that. You can do that while Matt sets this I up. I think it's disadvantage on tax and saving for it. Because it's movement half. Disadvantage on ability checks, movement half, then disadvantage. I think I'll stay asleep too. unless I get attacked or something yeah, if makes anyone, contact with me. Like, I'm gonna stay asleep. Even if I'm attacked. Even if I'm attacked. I'll just keep napping. Unless something's you know made contact with me, then I'll get up. But <laughs> leave me out this one, guys. All right, cool. Um, so just so we're aware of where everything is, so Sasuke is currently asleep. Uh, in, in this room at the moment, uh, we have uh, some. <coughs> oh, oh, cool. oh, yeah, look at that. Cool, we have nine, 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 ten feet. Okay, uh, can I just check where everyone else is, please? Uh, Alexia's right there. Be- sorry, right behind me. Wait. Right behind? Cool. Um, D22, where are you? This is a banger. Two nine. Um, I'm going to be one. by the side of Alexia, Alexi, please. Me anything. Yeah. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Cool, great. Uh, Myla. Um, so is is that a room next to D22 or is that uh, a room? This, this, is, this is a room next to Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Or um, the hallway, actually. Okay, cool. So I'll be as close behind those guys as I can be. Probably behind Mayway, like, so up in that bit. So I've got the least, like, I'm not too far, basically. I want to be the closest I can be. So all grouped up here like that? Yeah. Cool, great, cool. Uh, okay, so we're going to roll initiatives then. Um, two seconds. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, twenty-five to twenty. Twenty to fifteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Cool. Fifteen to ten. Me. Yep. Fourteen. Fourteen. What did you roll for me? Hang on, I don't. I haven't actually rolled. Oh. Oh. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. 21. 21. Mm. Oh, fucking guy. And mine was eight. Eve. Cool. Uh, Saskia? I'm asleep. I still need your energy, oh. please. Sorry, just checking on my checking my hat stuff. Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> For battle. Okay, I'll just put you last. Saskia. Uh, can I get your dex, please, Myla? Mine? Yeah. Plus two. Okay, cool. Love right. this music. I know, it's yeah. really yeah. good. So really Michael, Michael Gelfi has been releasing new album lately and there's like a lot of combat music and it's 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 good. It's 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 nice. Check them out. So order as it stands is D twenty two, Mayway, um, The Assassin. Uh, a Myla oh Assassin. Assassin Myla. first, then Myla, then Saskia. Cool. Uh, but yeah, top of initiative is going to be D twenty two. Eight. Eight at the bottom. Right, what you got for me, D two? Go on D. Um I am going to Do it. <laughs> Turn 180 and run back to check on Saskia. Okay. Oh. Are you going to use a full dash to do that? Yep. Yep, cool. So, one, two, three, four. Seven, Tell you the moral compass six. sometimes does the right thing. Six. So, it should be 12 for a dash then. Yeah. Cool. She's still there sleeping. Cool. Uh, you've still got a bonus action if you would like. Um. No. No? Good. Cool. Great. Cool. Uh, Mayway. Um, I'm gonna uh, pull my flail back in and then just like, oh no, it's out and he dodged, right? So I'm just gonna whip up and try and grab him again. Yeah, absolutely. Try and wrap around the... Yep, cool. Oh, her, him, her, them, them. Them. Yep, them. Evil um, has no gender. Evil has no gender. <laughs> evil has no gender. That's a good group name, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Yep, make an attack roll for me, please. Save and throw. Oh, it's another grapple, is it, for me? Cool. Uh, what's the DC on that? 15. 15 strength. He fails. Yes. So you catch him. Grapple. Wrapped up. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, can I pull on the chain or something and drop him so go chrome? Uh, yeah, you can You can absolutely Done. try and do that. How, do, how, do, how does one do something? How does one do that? Um, you I will make a we'll make combined strength check and a post strength check and see who comes on the top. That doesn't count. Okay. Three. 
Ha, natural 20. Yeah. No. And one move you get, flip, and it, and they land mm. on their face. Cool. Is that the turn? Uh, ha, did you leave some swords around here? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Um, and on their turn, as they fall, and their hand's going to flick up a little pouch, which is going to bounce. One, two, I need deck saves from all three of you, please. Uh, 23. Oh. 23? I've done that so, so much in the last couple of games. Four, five, no, wait, six. Six, fail. Pass. 23. 21. 21, pass, pass, fail. Uh, you take 18 points of fire damage. You guys oh, both take nine holy each. Holy shit. As Wowza. the pouch goes up and suddenly this little plume of flame is <laughs> as you guys are both scorched suddenly as this little explosion happens from the pocket. Um, you were a tank as well and you still, still took a spare chunk. I'm not a tank. You know. I just happen to be Have this party's tank. It's a dodge tank. Cool. Um, I can't even get out at this point, so that's, that's the first one. Yeah, uh, they can't really do anything else apart from that. Um, cool, that's their turn. They are currently prone on the ground. Alexa. Um, can I... Oh, sorry, my No, it's me, my, yeah. Why? Yep. Um, I am very upset about being very burnt. Mm-hmm. Um, so I am going to walk forwards a bit so that I'm alongside, at least alongside Alexi. Two, Maybe yeah. like... A step forwards or something. I, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter yeah, too much. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to just look at it at this person very coldly and say, "I don't want you to do that again." And I'm going to cast hold person on them. Okay. Uh, what's the save on that? It's a wisdom save, fifteen. Wisdom fifteen. Cool. Straight roll. 18 to Shit. save. You feel it for a second and then. <clears throat> oh, nice try. I know you snow elf scum. <laughs> oh. Cool. Oh, no. Um. All right. Well, in that case, I will. Uh. Do, 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 do bonus action Thorn Whip to hold him in place as well. Cool. Great. So I'm just going to automatically fail that because he's already tied up on the ground. Cool. Um, so he also takes six points of damage. Great. <clears throat> nice. Uh, Groovy, anything else you'd like to do? Yeah, that's it. Great. Sounds good. You just having a snooze? Yeah, I'm sneezing. Sweet. Alexa. Uh, so he is uh, grappled from two. He is very, well, they're very much tied down at the point. Right, okay. So can. Evil has no gender. Can I, um, like, try and tie them up or something? Yeah, you can absolutely attempt to, like, get, get some rope and. Yeah, them. like, just bind wrists and ankles. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yep. Um, I'm going to say you can only do that one at a time, um, but you can attempt to do that. Which would you like to do? Um, let's. Ooh, he's got to break out of two, so that's going to be tricky. Let's go for wrists so we can't do anything else. Okay, cool. Great. So you come in there. Um, I'm going to get an opposed strength check on that. Um, Considering he's bound in two ways, do I have any self advantage that already? Uh, he's got disadvantage. So oh, okay, cool. Make it roll. Yeah. Come on. Ten. Yeah. Cool. So you, you get down on your knees, and even though they're struggling and trying to pull them out of the floor, now their chest sort of like just slammed against the ground on top of that, and you've got no trouble getting their hands great. together, and they're, they're bound up. Okay, great. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. Top of initiative, D22. Okay. Um, I know you're safe now, so I'm just going to... I'm going to... Um I've used my full dash, haven't I, to go out there, so it's going to take my, cost my full dash to get uh, back, isn't it? One, two, because the door's here. Three, four, five, six. You could get there and see what's going on in your movement and still have an action left. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Alexi ties. He's prone, yeah. though, so ranged shots will have disadvantage, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go I'll make that movement back into the middle ground, please, back there. And may I be able to um, good track. attach some rope to my crossbow, fire it at his legs to try and tie the legs? Sure. Just, yeah, I'll just, just yeah, I'll just let you do that. Yeah, I'll just let you do that. That's fine. That's cool. Go on then. Gets tied up and yeah. Are you still going to make this attack with disadvantage though? Attack with disadvantage? Yeah, because he is prone on the ground. It's a ranged attack. Where's my other? Here we are. And then my crossbow. I can use my modifier for the crossbow still. Yeah. Okay. Not. Yeah. 
Oh yes, so 12 is my lowest, plus 5 is 17. 17. 17 hits. So you guys looking and then suddenly <coughs> you see this as this crossbow bolt comes out and just wraps itself and then completely bound. Uh, and with that, I think I'm just going to stop and I should have right there because what's, what's the point? <laughs> wait, 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 on my turn, I'm also limb. going to tie him up, just like duct tape around the whole middle section. Within about 30 seconds, suddenly it's just this bundle of yarn just sitting there, <laughs> this very grumpy looking assassin. Hmm. Head, head only. Uh, Just lots of spikes as well. First thing Alexi is going to do is completely disarm everything, uh. like sword, throw that away, weapons, throw them away, search all his pockets. Everything. Make, make, and all of you can do this, make an yeah. investigation check. Oh, when, when you're like, it's going to completely disarm, my brain went, so just take his arms off. Yeah. Like, yeah, there was, yeah. <laughs> look, this would be cool, this takeaway. Uh, uh, 14 on my investigation. 14? Okay, yep, so you managed to find 18. all the weapons on the person. Ha, ha, uh, two. two. <laughs> <laughs> Mayway finds a little, a little quite, a, quite a sharp uh, piece of paper uh, in, in the boot. Which is... <laughs> there, there is something in here, in this. I just need to figure out what it is. It's code. <laughs> uh, you find four of those little crystal balls that you found inside, um, and a little hidden dagger on the inside of their leg as well. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, you, you believe you successfully disarmed them. Should we get him inside one of the rooms? Because if a patron finds us... Th that is absolutely what we're doing. And yeah, Alexi is just going to drag him uh, into not the room with Saskia because yeah. we want to keep sleeping. Yeah. All right, well, then let's, let's just say that this is the room here that you guys are sleeping in. You can drag, drag them in. Tied up. Right, uh, yeah, drag him in, plonk him on a chair. Tie more ropes around the chair. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And is he still awake? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah he was never unconscious. Right. They've been very grumpy about this the entire time. Yeah. Are they gagged? Cool. Um, I would say... Oh. A bit of rope has probably been pushed in the, in the uh, mouth, and um, Alexi's just going um, I, 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 to... I'd, I'd quite like to start if no one minds. Perhaps Give me guess. one second, honey. And I pull out my little notebook again, and I flick through, like, ah, oh, right. And I take my finger down here the middle of his forehead and draw a couple of symbols, and I'll cast Detect Thoughts. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, now, I just need to check mechanically. Uh, he's got a save, I believe. Well, um, I have a save for locate object, but not for Detect Thoughts. Detect Thoughts, what's the save for locate object? Uh, 13. Yeah, so we'll say it's that. Um, you've already used locate object earlier today. No, I used it yesterday. Before we re before I rested. Cause we didn't do the marble. I didn't. I know. I was about to start casting on the marble. No, because you did it to check for the rolling team in the burnt out shop earlier today. Yeah, it was the day previous, wasn't it? No. It was oh no! It's not. Oh, yeah, it was right. like four o'clock. I said it though, haven't I? You said it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> but I rolled a nine, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Cool. Uh, what's what, what's the DC thirteen wisdom or? Uh, I I don't know. I only have a save for locate object, so I feel like the spell of detect thoughts. They there isn't a save, but there's a save if I probe deeper. I never actually yeah, had sorry, that let spell. Me, let me get that up. Apologies, guys. I don't know the uh, rules off of my heart. Um, mm. What was that dice mm. save? <laughs> um, my my <coughs> item. If I use it twice in a day, mm. I roll d twenty, and I roll lower than four. It got turns to ash. Oof. Oof. So you, you, you get inside there and the surface you're reading is, is anger, vitriol, and just a lot of fear. They are scared shitless right now. Who do you work for? Tell you shit. Uh, uh, may, yeah. may I? Of course. And in the most... I probe deeper. I want to hear. I want to hear everything class, he's thinking. Upper class posh way, yeah. Alexi is going to backhand him. <laughs> a posh slap. <laughs> okay. Make, make, make your attack. Advantage, because you're oh, strength. fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really love David's idea of... But two natural ones. Oh, oh, one. oh yeah. my god. The, you bounce so much That's, rope around them. It's a slap, isn't it? It's acting so it's like, in eh, armor, and it, it, eh. does, it does nothing. It's got that weak wrist going on. And they just... just it do better than that. You want me to try? Perhaps we should torture him. Oh, Mala, look like she got an idea. I know, I was just going to offer to hit him. 
Mm. Oh, um, I, I was just going to... Um, Again? Yeah. Oh, no, d- d- something else. And then just, like, dangerously quickly, Alexia's going to bring out a dagger and press it very... kind of cold. Hard at his neck. <laughs> so, heart's beating, the fear what is like... What are you working for? So, heart is beating and compounding and still keeps saying nothing, but in, in the head, just... You read fear and... Fucking Sarah's gonna kill me. I'm, I'm fucking done. There's nothing I can fucking do. I'm fucking... It's a fucking stupid job. Just cursing themselves out, cursing for taking this work. Anything at all. So I ain't telling you shit. Another one of Sarah K. Fury's bitches come and play with us. You don't know what he has. Oh, power is going. I don't know what he's gonna do to me. Oh, he's so scary. Oh, he has, has. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, my turn. I'm gonna press the knife a little bit tighter. I'm gonna rude. Spit in your face. What? 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 Um, so. The worst Sarah experience to do to you is kill you, right? And my family, my friends, anyone I've ever known. Okay, will he do that if you get back to him or if you fail? Oh, what? he knows I've failed. He already knows I've failed. How do you already know you failed? failed? He gestures at, like, the crystal balls. He's been watching this the entire time. Oh, hey! Hi, Sarah. Hello. That's it. <laughs> Just in your head. That is a fun trick that... I do not care for. Sarah Kay here is talking to me again. Oh, you really are the chosen one, aren't you? No, I don't quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, just gonna smash the crystal ball. Sure, sure, make an attack roll. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> just like. Um. Wait, with my glaive? I guess. Your foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's plus six for glaive, so that's why cool. I'm at twelve. Yeah, Torf does it, so you get it cracks and then shatters into just a little bit. Like a, a grey ghostly <sighs> erupts up and around your foot and then dissipates into nothing. Maybe we should feed him the other ones. Um, I was Ooh. actually going to say, um, uh, do, you, do you have any more of these? Or is that it? What, the balls? Yes. Oh, well, I had more. You'll never find the others. Yeah, right, but you don't, you don't have any <laughs> around you right now. No, you've taken everything else I've got. Excellent, right. So now we can kill him um, in whatever brutal manner that we so wish. Um, and you, oh, the only way of you saving yourself is if you tell us everything we need to know. Well, I'm dead either way, so what's in it for me? Well, we could be friends. I don't think. I think we're well you past could, friends. You don't have to go back to Eris. Uh, you could just leave. You could go somewhere else. You'll follow me anywhere I go. He's not really that bad. Oh, you have no idea. Well, I've been hunting him, and all he does is run, so I'm not exactly intimidated. He's, he's smart. He knows not Quaking to tussle. in my little boots. I mean, you all saw what you did to his little helper yesterday. Oh, well, he, he didn't do that. No, you guys did that. He's not ready to tussle with that. He's smarter than that. It occurs to me that uh, you are essentially dead. Unless... Uh, oh, I'm fucked. Unless well, truly. this Sarek is dealt with. Arguably, but... So, logically... It, strikes to me that the best option in you surviving is you tell us exactly what we want to know so we can kill him and you get to live. What's he thinking? He's considering it slowly um, and as he's thinking he's going through the plan that he roll actually no no so like you go through and you can see he's he's thought about this before and he's considering the option and in his mind you see the names of a couple of places uh, and two standouts. One is the name Milford, and the other is a dwarven name you don't quite recognize called Frostrun. Run or Rum? Rim. Uh, F R I S T R H I M. And you get flashes and ideas and sort of this stuff, but how we do it, he'd probably have to meet him there. That's about all you're getting. Just names and places. How did you find us here? You're not exactly subtle. Set off a bloody great fire, didn't you, this morning? Yeah, but before that? Did you know we were here before that? Oh, yes. How? You came and told all the girls you killed Club Gun. You walked into town like fucking heroes. You're really not very good at this. Excuse me, we're fucking heroes. We are good at that. Really? You take one orc, you get ripped off by some better heroes, and you think that you're hot shit. Alexei, yeah. perhaps you could drink him. I was uh, considering. Any blood he had in his face suddenly drains. I'm, I'm sorry, what? 
Oh yeah, no, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, perhaps. Mm. We're all cannibals. So yeah, then you get full. <gasps> Actually, no, no, this is this is wonderful. I've never got to speak to a victim before, and this is wonderfully liberating. I'm going to drain your blood. Have we? Wait. Unless before, just before. Okay. You could take a Too sample. Late. <laughs> yeah. You could take a sample. And we could leave him alive so he helps us derail Sarek. Mm. We could bleed him dry Sarek and fill up bottles Olympian? for the future, for the road. Yes. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Are you, you asking that? Of yeah. The, yeah. It started out as trade and manufacturing, and now there's some uh, high level what? use. Gods, What's he thinking? demons, everything else in between. What's he thinking? Oh, I can't, I'm, I'm a low level assassin. Sloppy, it seems, but it's all right. He'll be here and soon enough. He'll, he's coming? Oh, not himself, but. Uh, the next one? The next one, and the next one. Drain my blood, you say? And you hear echoing inside his head. Mm. Sarek's voice. It just goes, interesting. Oh no. Tell them nothing more, and I'll spare you. He just goes quiet. Tell them nothing more, and he'll spare you. So, do we have that magic dagger that drains people's blood? Oh yes, I have it. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yes. Okay, great, brilliant. I think he is untrustworthy, mm. and he's as good as dead. So you may as well slowly bleed him to death. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that sounds good. And I heard him. Sarek's talking to him as well. I What's your name, bring honey? out the uh, dagger that you gave us. So you've got to be evil to use it, and just like place it on my finger and start spinning it. What's your name, honey? Uh, do you know how this works? Uh, the pointy bit goes in. Oh, it's oh, but it's far more fascinating than that. Now you see, I jam this in you, and suddenly you feel all the blood in your body drain towards the blade. It drinks it. It's marvelous. Yeah, y'all are fucked up. You know that. <laughs> you you said you're heroes. No, yes. you said we were heroes. We made I mean, no I such thought, claim. I thought that we had good intentions. I want this job. Oh, well, objectively, to survive. He's working for an evil person, so therefore what we do to him is morally justified, we yes? We could help him. We could save him. So tell me, would you like me to drain your blood? <laughs> would you like to be our friend? I think we're past friends. You know, I always get back to friendship. Yes, you're either assistant or a victim. Which is it? I don't have all day. <laughs> I'd rather not lose my blood. Um... Uh, Drained, or if you wish to learn a new word, exsanguinated. Some interesting last words for me. You mm. can't hear what's going on in your head, but I can. How? I have lots of tricks. I come from the library of the Filverell. You think I don't know how to do these things? <laughs> Spits on the floor. Lovely, charming. Look, I'm dead either way. Well, we do keep offering to save your life, so... Sarah, you... Sarah, Sarah's gonna kill me if I tell you anything, so... He actually just told you that he would spare your life. If I kept quiet? Yes. So he's hearing more of this? No. He can just send his voice, project his voice, right? It... We killed, we destroyed the orbs. The one you know about. Well, we searched him, and you have more, right? The one's on me. Yeah, so yeah. There's, 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 there's one, one in this room. room. There's one in the room still. I cannot I cannot use another fucking spell. Um Can I look Give around? me four hundred gold. Let me go. Smuggle me out. And I'll tell you anything you need to know. Mom And just by saying that I know I'm fucked, so that's it. That's my deal. Drink his blood, Alexi. With the knife. With the knife. Right. Yeah. Ugh. That Drink. is rather odd. Um, That's disgusting. Just, uh, busy yourself yeah, and... Yeah, just traitor in his head from Sarek and then... Have a, have a look for if there's another one of those uh, things around here. And, you know, let, let's learn how the knife works, shall we? Yes. Right. <laughs> Can I go around the room trying to find that fucking orb? Yeah, the make an investigation check. Drinks the blood, not Alexi. He's just the one who does the stabbing. Ha, natural 20. Yeah. But, but minus two because... Though. Doesn't matter. But still, the I moment it's mentioned, it. a small glint from the morning ray, and you find it just underneath one of like the chest of drawers. Smashy, 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 smashy. 
Cool. You Thank don't you need to roll for, for that. Yes. Yeah, just um, there's the one. So we already crushed the ones that I'd taken. No. I assume that. No. Let's assume pressure. you've broken everything. Have you broken all of them that you found, or? But I mean, we probably could, we should. Yeah. Yeah. Smashy, smash. yeah. smashy, smashy. Cool. Um, Alexi would probably request they don't smash one and throw it in the bag of holding. Oh yeah. That makes sense. Good idea. I mean, all it's going to see is a demi plane. All right. Now, no more Sarah mm. watching. And he knows that you're a traitor. And I think that he is maybe coming for you. Well, I mean, he's going to be in good company, isn't he? Right, well, um... It's just something to bear in mind. First of all, we're not giving 400 you gold. 400 gold. <laughs> I could just kill you. But, I, oh God, I'm so fucking bored. Yeah, but Sarek's smarter than all of you. He seems to have figured out life that <laughs> sloppy work earlier. Uh, maybe it just takes a moment like bent over. <laughs> oh, this is a fat old dwarf is smarter than the rest of us. That is that is hilarious. You could barely handle his assistant. What makes you think you've got a chance against him? Who's assistant? Your assistant? No, his little You get a pay rise. Halfling. Oh what? The guy that Saskia was gonna fuck? Shut up. Oh, she's not here right now. In either way. She's gonna fuck with the guy? <laughs> I think there was a date. I don't know how they ended up seeing each other. Either way, that was a total mistake. He's punching. Yeah, good for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, objectively, he's not punching anything anymore. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah gave your assistant. Jesus. Speaking What's of... What's his connection inside the veil? Inside my library? I came looking for oh, some I, fucking I, I paper. Don't, I don't know that. <sighs> And genuinely, he, yeah. he doesn't know I that. I'm looking for some goddamn paper, and now there's all this crap going on. All I know, <sighs> 400 gold will tell you what he's doing up there. I'm going to go and make sure Sasuke's all right. He's uh, concentrating if... really hard to think about anything about but Frostrum. If... He's thinking about like his mum and his dad and like the town he grew up in, and he's like trying to think, don't think, don't think about well, that. Well, yeah, don't think about Frostrum. Ah, and, and, and it appears, and then it doesn't, but he rolled a natural 20, so he's managed to hold on. If, uh, if we decide that we are killing him, would you let me know before anything's done? Oh, I won't kill him. That's not my place. Oh, okay. Is everything okay in there? Hi, honey, we're fine, thank you. <laughs> Rope back. <laughs> <laughs> we're fine, thanks, honey. There's some commotion, are you sure? Oh yeah, no, we're good. Don't you worry about us at all. I can just, I can just come in and just check. Is everything okay? No. What? No, don't come no, in. I'm getting changed. <laughs> Deception check. <laughs> Why is it? Yeah. Six. <laughs> Fuck's sake! All right, fine. <laughs> okay. Are you okay, honey? I just. Everything all right? Yeah, we just heard some complaints from the neighbors. We're just oh, checking you're okay. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. We'll keep it down. Yeah, sorry. Just please do. Footsteps walk away. When uh, it's been like a, about 30 seconds after the footsteps mm -hmm. have gone, Alexi is going to leave the room and go and sit with Saskia. Myla is going to stay with this guy because she's not leaving with him with just someone who just said she wouldn't kill him. <laughs> What, you're not leaving him with someone who said he wouldn't kill him? <clears throat> yeah. I'm worried that he'll just be like, oh cool, in that case this person's a pushover, so... Oh yeah, and they will be able to break out, sure. Yeah, so Myla's just like, oh, I'll just wait here, I'll be a dangerous person, this is fine. Right. So, come on, what do I need to say to get you to be our friend? Friends don't pay each other, I don't want to be your friend, I just want to get out of here. Yes, well, the only way of getting out of here is being our friend. And I need 400 gold to disappear, so that's... Why do you need 400 gold to disappear? Yeah, Smuggle me across the ocean and get out of this, you know, this shithole. I'll tell you what he's doing in Frost Room. Tell you where the research is gone. Oh, I'm so tempted, but as you see, I'm with a group. I can't just take these deals. Of course you can. Anyway, you can listen to his thoughts. Yeah, at the moment, but not for much longer. You've got a left. What about it? Rylanthium, what do you know about it? I know it's been smuggled out of the Alps, I know it's good for weapons, it's good for experimenting, and it's How good for healing good stuff. How is it good for weapons? This has never been... Ask him. Yeah? It unlocks a certain potential. Uh, you could sort of, like, almost like echoes of the stuff. What? You, you, you get a sword, another sword appears alongside it. That's it's like a go like a ghostly apparition, it's like a potential, it untaps certain things. That's Rylanthium. A Rylanthium can be used in an application, yes. Sarek was fucking about with it and he figured it out, so he's been selling weapons across. 
But Humans mostly, but... What did you do the last time you were in Frostrim? Just played guard, picked up some stuff and brought it to Milford. Is that what he thought about? And then transported down and then I got, a, I got a note to come sort you guys out after this amateur display burning his shop down. You fucked him off! Well done, you have definitely pissed him off. As Myla is like asking these questions, I'm just listening to see if there's any like interesting tidbits that his thoughts reveal to me. So, is he going through? For the most part, no. You, there's a couple of guild houses, like a couple of faces um, come up, but the a name comes up and it's the ninth circle appears. Of hell? Just the ninth circle. <laughs> And then immediately he's like, fuck, in his head. <laughs> and your detect thoughts fades out. It's been 10 minutes. Oh. So, and I can do that for, <clears throat> I've got that going for the rest of the day. Can you believe it? So just make sure that you're well behaved. <laughs> make, make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> no. No! <laughs> oh. What am I thinking Special. right now? <laughs> About your mother and your father and the ninth circle. It goes a little bit red and just very quiet. <laughs> 400 gold, let me go. No, I'm not gonna give you 400. Well, then just fucking kill me then, because I ain't good all day. All right, that's fair. I, I mean, no, I no, 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 wrote back in his mouth. That's fair, that's fair. He just wants to be killed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm yeah. happy with killing him. Yeah. Mm. Fine with me. Seems oddly keen, to be honest, as well. Yeah, to die. Uh, I suppose sarah has got some more painful ways of killing people. Mm. Mm. Alexis, why you sounded pretty painful. Mm, it's Alexis' quite bad. way will be pretty painful. Remember the last time it happened? Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't. I I'll leave, actually, I think. I don't mm. need to watch that again. Yeah, it's okay, mate. It's oh. a little bit of pee comes out <laughs> the bottom of his trouser. <laughs> if only we were friends. If only we were friends. I'm gonna die. You're gonna mm -hmm. die. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you're agreeing with me now, Bendis, but it's too late. What's I'm your name? I call you Bendis. Mm hmm. Amir. Amir. Amir, now he tells us his name. Nice to meet you, Amir. I'm gonna write I your name in like green because you're our friend. Oh, yeah. Why do you not like the Filverell? <laughs> say, yeah, say, I say, yeah, say, yeah. So, <laughs> no, what, you, what do you know about the Filverell? So it's perfectly just looking at D twenty two. I will throw something at you. <laughs> He's yeah, he asked you making that. a specific point at you. Oh. D twenty two. What do you know about the Filverell? What do I know about the Filverell? Filverell are good people, and they do not deserve any punishment and should be looked after. What Filverell have you been talking to? I have only heard of Filverell. They have been part of my makeup for a long time. Mm. Well, I know, and I've told. They're immensely powerful, and arcane researchers with a rich civilization, I will grant you that, but it's one they paid quite a price for, and we're simply trying to reallocate some of that immense power back to those who could put a better use to it. What was the price? A lot of people died. Huh? I'm not... I'm from um, outside the main... I don't really know... Filverell's Filverell. No, that's why I'm asking. That's why I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, me neither, and I'm from the centre, so... You're telling me a fucking whisper, and I'm assuming some sort of wizard don't know shit about where they came from. Oh, I am not a wizard. I know plenty about where I came from. Just, it seems maybe the narrative has been skewed slightly. The destruction of the Fae. What? The closure of the gate. What? No. No, nothing. No. You know nothing of your history? Well, that's not I'm not a wizard. I heard it. <laughs> Just want to clear that up. Nothing, no. Even why we have our own theme? 
Yeah, uh, DM, I was going to ask that. Yeah, please. Um, do I know of Rylinthium being used to create like doubles or echoes of what he was saying? Do uh, I know that ha- having a place in that? Uh, you can you can roll you can roll to yeah. check it, but yeah, can I? Yeah, go for it, what please. Is it? Uh, either a history or an Arcana check. Uh, ten. There was one very eccentric professor in, in, in the library that, that experimented with it a little bit on a very small scale mm-hmm. um, beyond that. You've never heard of it being properly applied. It's not something carried by, by whispers or, or rangers at all. It's primarily used for healing, um, revivification, and occasionally powering some Warforged as well, some of the larger ones that need a bit more of a... Not soul, but a bit more but of an internal not, energy. But not, not, not weaponized, yes, no. I was n- no one ever talked about Rylanthium and Whisper Training or anything no. like that. Okay. Yeah, no, they don't teach us about that. You're missing out. Evidently. I know they're not great, but... It's a big hidden history. You are yeah. connected well, not... to Sorry. weapon smuggling in Fivriel? Oh, yes. That's why I'm here. I'm about to die for it. How would we find out about this history? Is it just in any regular library no. down here? Okay. No, so it's no not, library here anywhere. So it's not common knowledge? Oh, no. Do okay. Kind of, no, no, so no. how do you know about it? Oh, well, Sarek told us. Oh, Sarek told you. Must be true. Have you ever done deals with stone giants? That's a very specific question. That is a specific question. It's a very specific question. I didn't say that in character, by the way. That's mean. Yeah, yeah I, that's, <laughs> bad. That's, a, that's a very specific question. Backstory, maybe? Once or twice. Why? How long ago would this be? Months. Months ago? Four months ago. Maybe it was the last one. Mm. A few years before that. Why do you ask, D? I will tell you later. All right. So Sarek's the only one that knows about where the Rylinthium comes from? Or do you know? Well, there are others, but it's bone to pay grade. You'll have to take it up with him. But he tells everyone who works for him. He gets you on side, you know, it's more of a cause than a paycheck. Cause? Against the Filverell? Well, more for us than against the Filverell. I got a good thing going. Yeah, okay. And as you guys stew on that, uh, we're going to take a break. Tasty. Yeah. Cool. Fuck. Be right back. Go. Cool. Talk soon. <laughs> yeah, that's just a bit delicious, wasn't it? Like, <laughs> fucking hell. We've had lots of... Num- And welcome back. Uh, just before the break, our heroes had done a couple of errands around town, picking up a couple of things, catching up with the wonderful Tholomon of Tholomon Sleuthens. Love that guy. <laughs> Great too. And then uh, heading back to decipher the cipher um, to find that both of the rooms had been trapped, albeit Saskia was still peacefully sleeping while having some rather worrying dreams about other events happening in her life at that point. Um, After an unfortunate natural four, they heard a creak outside the room and came out to see an assassin making a quick escape. With the party in hot pursuit, they quickly caught up with them, tied them down, and proceeded to interrogate them, with Mayway effectively using a detect thoughts. 
with Sarek goading halfway in between. Having learned a lot about the history of the Val and the Phil Varel, they now sit in the tavern room, unsure what to do with this assassin. Do they kill him? Do they let him go? Let's find out. What would you like to do? Well, Alexia's um, sat in Tasuke's room, just chilling by her side. We should make a decision about what to do to this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, shall we go fetch Alexi? Yes. <laughs> They're like, I wonder if he's ble- she's bleeding a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like, Why is no one yeah. else in this room with me? <laughs> um, Aunt Schlag again? Yeah, we, sh- we need to make a choice as to what to do with the mayor here. Cool. Um, D20 if he tries to escape, like... Shoot him in head? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm capable of doing that as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, my lair will leave and go grab Alexi. Cool. Um, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just get a photo. <laughs> just, just like come in and you've just like tucked a napkin. <laughs> like, yeah. Glass of red this wine. is my cravat. <laughs> yeah. All jokes aside, Alexi is just like sat on a chair, just. Hey, um, no. we've got everything out of him we're going to get. Right. It's probably time to make a decision about what to do. Did we get the um, little bald thing from this room? We did, didn't we? Yeah. Excellent. Right. Um, well, what are you going to do? What do you mean, what am I going to do? What, what, what's the consensus? Uh, well, I think... I think Mayway wants to maybe let him live. Why don't we vote? You're not, You're not there. Why don't we vote? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, guy, I love now it. I can't say that because <laughs> no. no. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're gonna vote. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think given that we can potentially make use out of him by him dying, there's maybe something to be said by, for that. And I don't think we can let him go now. I um, I find myself agreeing. Um, pragmatism over idealism is perhaps the better option here. Uh, disposing of the body will be, if, I suppose, if I made enough. Uh, well, you know, well, let's not waste him. Uh, right. Uh. The second, uh, sorry, I'm going to wait for you guys to finish, but no. the second Myla left the room, I started talking to American. So okay. Just waiting for him. Sure. Right, well, um, here's what we'll do. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll say we're in the other room. Uh, also, we should go back to uh, Master Solomon as soon as possible so we can... Yeah, uh, yes. definitely. It has certainly been enough time. Right, okay, well, and the like stands up and we'll just sort of jauntily walk it into the room. Yeah, my lord follow. Just a casual, like, a just, casual yeah. stroll. Just walk straight back in, like completely normal, so emotionally tone deaf to what's going on. <laughs> so four hundred gold, it's not going to fly. So the second that Myla leaves, yeah. he's still gagged. I don't want to hear four hundred gold again. <laughs> and I just turned to him with like a very like afraid look on my face. I was like, I can't do anything more. This, you got to tell me. You got to tell me something if I can save your life. Otherwise. It's over. If you want to die because you want 400 gold, fine. But help me save it's your It's not life. that I want 400 gold. I need 400 gold to escape. We'll help get you out a different way. How? You, you leave with us, we'll talk you guys to you are on our st- ship. You're stuck in the city as well. We leave tomorrow. You can make sleep a, in our room with us. Make a persuasion check. With advantage? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Not bad. Um, uh, whew, eight, uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20? Yeah. It's a 16. Oh, I thought I it looked like a 6, and I'm like, good for you. <laughs> 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 he, he ponders. She let him go. And they're guarding the gates. They're not really watching the secret entrance and exit that they're using to smuggle in Veldon's old place. You can get me a horse. And I can get out through there. Let me lay, lay here for a day. I'll escape. You'll never hear me from me again. I'll tell you how to get to Frost Room. I'll tell you how to find Veldon. Ah, no, not Veldon. Sarek. No gold. Just give me a horse and make sure I can slip out at night without anyone seeing me. And maybe have a shot. We can even get you on our ship if you want. But 
That's all I can offer you, and I don't... I'm so sick of everyone dying. How do I trust you? Leap of faith. I'm going against the rest of them to try and save you. All right, Elf. Right. Gang back on. Um, before we leave Saskia's room, mm-hmm. um, Miles just oh, say sorry. to her like, "Oh, sorry, yeah." Inside check. Sure. Says, okay. <laughs> Is he just gonna fuck me over and all of us over? Um, fourteen. He seems on the level. Um, also, it turns out, uh, the film world have done a really bunch of really, really bad stuff that they just don't tell anyone about. Like, more so than most people. The words destruction of the Fey and closing of the gate were mentioned. Hmm. Fascinating. And killing a lot of people. Right, um... Now, I, I don't, I don't wish to imply like I'm questioning anyone's uh, intelligence here, but um, I mean, by that do you mean mine? Right. No, just more that. <laughs> well, Sorry. Mayway is very, very well trained. Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess. And extraordinarily well equipped. Yep. Right. Uh, that seems a lot for someone who works in a library. Oh, that it's not. The library is the name for, like, all of the academy bit. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not right. just books. Right, okay, so, uh, and sort of down to whispering. So the problem about having a family that's a glorified cabal is uh, one tends to assume the worst. Mm-hmm. So if there's a society, I naturally assume it's corrupt, evil, self-serving, or all of that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I assumed much the same about them. This is more detail than we've had before about them. Right. Um, it's specifically something to do with how Rylinthium was created. Hmm. And I imagine a fascination with the arcane as well, to be a big part of their society. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very little natural magic occurring. None. Curious. And Alexi's going to walk. <laughs> and we'll go back into the, uh, the room with Amir, with the bag of holding already kind of like in his arms and open he's going right so I've thought about it and I've done the uh, mental arithmetic and we could absolutely fit a dead body in here so getting him out is not going to be a problem right wait, <laughs> who's wait, going to wait, do it wait 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 guys guys Amir has agreed to help us and give us the information that we need about Sarek about Frostrim to pull all this apart and all we gotta do is get him a horse and help him get out of here. When, in what order, do we get information? We need information first, then help second. I agree. Or well, we kill him after information, but don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you, we gotta stand by our word. We gotta stand by. In this, I agree with Mayway. If we are to give our word, well, and we stick to it. Yeah, I agree. If we promise something, obviously we're still gonna we're gonna stick to that. Check the moral compass. Understood. <laughs> Makes sense. We will... I really can't believe this. I was so looking forward to it. We will... Give you what you need. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. uh, what you're going to do then is when we get to this little getaway bit, you're going to tell us everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. If for a second I suspect that you are holding something back, Mm -hmm. I will kill you in such a way that will be the worst thing you could ever possibly imagine. In the, tra- I, in, in the school of trading, I had a, a philosophy that said, uh, half now, half later, it would be prudent to get half information now to know that he might not do a runner when he gets to the place that he wants to escape from. Uh, all right then, um, Mayway, since this is your task, um, why don't the two of you Stay here and get <coughs> half now. I think that's quite fair. Yes? Mm-hmm. Right. We'll go get to Solomon, pick up uh, that potion for yeah. Saskia. Sure. And maybe a horse? 
Well, let's do one thing at a time. And, you know, it's... I think the less we're kind of seen today, especially with the uh, noise, we can sort out the horse in the morning. You, I assume you want to lay low here for a little bit of time? Y- yes. Right. Uh, you are going to stay tied to the chair. Okay. What if Sarah comes for me or sends someone for me? Well, we'll be here to protect you. You promise? Those two are staying behind, basically to protect you. Are you any good in a fight? Ha! <laughs> the best. You think Wizards aren't good in fights? Touche. Yeah. All right. There we go. I know a little bit about swords. I'll just turn into like a bear and rip you apart. So. Oh no! Well, apparently, we're not ripping this one apart. No. Okay. Sorry. I know. Rip I'm upset about someone the two. apart. I'm pretty good in a fight. Favorel, responsible for killing thousands of people, apparently. That's why we call them the Favorel. Favorel? Yeah. Mm. Out of game. That's fucking cool. Great name. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> Love that. In game. Uh. <laughs> Alexi says to Maya, told you. Yeah, no, Tony, you, you were right. Yeah. Correct, yeah, good. Fine. I will. Frostroom is where they experiment. If there's research, that's where it's going to be. <laughs> you need to go to Milford's and you'll need to talk to someone um, <clears throat> uh, named Connie. Uh, Connie Byrne. She used to smuggle on the coast Connie? before Aerist was shut down and now she was moved to. Uh, satiate Sarek's anger. She's now in charge of smuggling up on the land up there and getting... There's an old dwarven mine in Frostroom. And she works for Sarek? Oh, she does. It's a nasty piece of work. Um, Frostroom's old frost giants and the sword town. It's right in the middle of the mountains, an old dwarven mine. Uh, used to be an old mining prison for goblins and bugbears, but it was a long time ago. Frost giants? Yeah. Oof. Milford is in Frost Room. Go there and find Kami Brun in the mountains. Milford's a good little town. Little trade port. Blink and you miss it, but... Oh, it's a port. I thought it was a person. Oh, trade town. No, no, no. It's a trade town. That's blue yep. for locations. All right. Dwarves and humans. Um, yeah. That's... And the rest I'll tell you once I'm out of here. All right. One question for you. Okay. Um, Go on. Then. Do you ever wonder why wood elves integrate so much with the humans? No. Uh, That's all. Only just. Think on that. Left home. Cool. You hungry? Starving, actually. Yeah. You got anything? Yeah, I'll get you some food. Cool. D. Yep. Don't kill him. Please. Okay. Promise. I promise. Protect him if someone shows up trying to kill him? Yes. Thank you. I'm going to go get you a sandwich. I'll be right back. Five minutes. A red dragon shows up. <laughs> <laughs> D22 fires. <laughs> Heroically, valiantly saves his NPC. Um, we've just headed off to Solomon's. Yeah, don't cool. really need to. Yeah, yeah just fine. Yeah, no, absolutely fair. Absolutely fair. Oh, hey, guys. Um, Potion. Yes. Oh, all right, of course. All right, so I did some work. I've got a couple of options. Um... So I've got this one, which it's, uh, this should fix some of the immediate things. Won't completely get rid of any exhaustion, but get rid of the worst of it. So this one's here for 85. Um, I've got this one. It turns out if you really concentrate it really hard, um, you can get rid of all of it. It's just it's very volatile. It needs, like he puts up, and the potion is literally vibrating in his hand. It's bright green. This was really expensive to make, so if you don't buy it, I'm probably going to go bankrupt. Not really on you, but this one will fix just about anything. Um, it's going to be about 450 gold. Puts it down, and starts vibrating towards <laughs> Yeah, it's like, <laughs> do, 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 do. like he catches it as it comes. He ca- oh, yeah, he catches it. Oh. Going the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, this will fix. It's basically a long rest in a bottle as a one-time use, and will fix most ailments. This one is so he's given you a lesser restoration in a bottle, yeah, which will fix a level of exhaustion yeah. and the bleeding, yeah, and then a long rest in a bottle, which will fix three levels, which will restore Saskia back to full. 
basically like coffee with Red Bull poured in it. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I don't really know how I did this. <laughs> this won't be coming back again. This is the one-time thing. Because <laughs> right. this is a really powerful magic item. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, it's Solomon's Solution. Oh. Yeah, it's a singular. I... This guy is so cute. Apparently, I start. I feel guilt now. So you that, should. You really should. <laughs> I'm joking, mate. I'm joking. I thought we were friends. No, no. We, 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 oh, good. We are, we are, um, oh, I thought I really hurt. It's... You feel guilt. That's also pretty impressive. You're doing well. Is he not? Is he not? We're, we're joking. Oh, right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> <banter. laughs> what would you like to do? We shall take Solomon's solution. Thanks, mate. I did not want to spend that much. I also do not wish you to go bankrupt. This is their cost. This isn't... I'm not making a profit on this. I... yes. Um... There's 450 gold. Oh, thanks, mate. <sighs> oh. All for you, Queen. I mean, it's also technically David's fault for trying to eat you, so, you know, it goes, it goes I both mean, ways. Here we go. <laughs> and he hands it. Don't. And it's, it's shaking in your hand. Like, the amount of energy inside this is just, it's just a lot. Cool. Bat, bat, let's go back. Yes. Um, yeah, go now we're going to do a 40 minute mini game of you, each <laughs> passing person <laughs> is going to try and <laughs> knock. And, <laughs> yeah. It's like those games where you get hit once, you go back to the start and say, no, I'm kidding. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> Alexi just walking through the town like, I will kill all of you! <laughs> <laughs> you get back without issue. It's, it is busy. Um, no one tries to pick your pocket this time, so you're, you're completely fine. Get up through the painted <laughs> Sorry, maze. Oh yeah. That's sweet. Uh, Alexi is going to go into Sasuke's room, um, kind of like hand the potion to Myla for a second, kind of try and sit her up. Do you want to hold her up and I'll pour? Uh, I, I think if she wants anyone to grab a hold of her and open her mouth, she'd probably prefer it with you. Yeah, okay, fine. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, as you try and aim the shaking potion in her mouth, Saskia, dreams have come in and out of your sleep. Oh. And this time, instead of being on the cliff, you are floating. Not flying, you're floating. You're carried almost on a rail. And as you look to your left and your right in the clouds, you see the silhouettes and shapes of many great battles, one versus one of people fighting with each flash of lightning, almost like a really slow stop-motion <clears throat> fight happening in front of you. You see incredible beasts being slain by crowds of people and you watch in slow motion as a head falls and collapses and disperses into the clouds. And the clouds part and that giant face appears in front of you again and looks firmly at you. Disappointed. Prove. Do you say anything? Um, yeah. Who are you? The Storm. You're a Storm? The fuck? Make a deck save. Eleven. Cool, you take... Twelve points of lightning damage as a bolt of lightning strikes you. <laughs> I am... The storm. Sorry, so your name is Storm. It's the storm. The storm. Sorry, the storm. Why have I never heard of you before? <clears throat> you will. You are. The what do you want? Prove. And in front of you, the clouds disperse. And then one sort of rises up and takes the form of a slightly elven looking human with a long shield, a fine broadsword, and plate armor with a cape whipping in the wind. The elven eyes look at you, glowing a bright blue with that same familiar blonde streak of hair that you yourself have. The voice above looks at you, says, Kill and the cloud goes into you, into your very soul, and you glow for a second, and then you sit up as the potion is being forced into your mouth. 
a week. Excellent. Hey, uh, oh, yeah, careful, careful, careful. careful. <coughs> oh, no, no, don't call it. Don't call it. It's, it's, it's very expensive. <laughs> if you spill a drop, that's it. It doesn't work, so. <laughs> Hey, how are you feeling? Yeah. God, if I feel that good every time you bite me, you can crack on, mate. <sighs> right, so um, you you passed out. Oh, out and, for long? Oh, yes, it's been most of the day. And but, we had to pay 450 gold to wake you up. Oh, shit! Oh, God, that must have hurt. Yeah, uh, you, you know, it, mm, Sorry. It's fine. He was made to feel guilty by the fact that if he hadn't coughed up that much, then we would have bankrupted someone that he likes quite a lot. Well, you like someone? Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, um, cool. And we, uh, we, we, uh, we, we've captured an assassin, um, and we're okay. going to go and uh, make sure that he uh, gets away safely. Mm. Could I check that? Why? I'm still, I'm still in the room with him. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a long story. Myla, can May Saskia and I have a moment? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, just wait just outside then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll wait just outside. I'll go stand outside the door. Sure. Do you open or close the door? Oh. Door closed? I mean, I'll, if... If oh, I have Mylan, the door closed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, if cool, cool, doesn't cool. shut the door, it'll actually well. Yeah, no, no, no. I was assuming that the door would be closed. Okay, I'm just yeah. gonna like, if there's any ah noises, I will come running. Um, <laughs> Thanks. It's all right. I'm going to assume, like me, you're not telling anyone. Uh, nope. Fascinating. I never, never meet many people like me. Mm. Hmm. Well, why aren't you honest about it? I actually don't know what you're talking about, so... Um... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just, still just a bit out of it. You're still getting flashes um, of that image in your yeah. mind as well. Uh, I think I need some fresh air, actually. Um, I'm probably bite to eat. No Look, if, it, if it's a problem, I can keep your secret. Um, I, honestly, I, please, I, I don't really have the capacity to talk about anything too deep right now. I, please, I just need some food and some fresh air and... Alright, um, well, whenever you want to, I have more than a bit experience of posing as one of them, so... Right. Whenever you do want to talk. Yeah, cool. And like, someone just go to the door, open it, go. All good? All good. Yeah. Yeah? Right. Couldn't be happier. Right, uh, shall we uh, go and free someone who we really should be killing? Meanwhile, uh, can I have a second one? Yeah. Yeah, please, absolutely. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm just in, it's been obviously a couple of minutes, so I do, I'm doing that thing where I kind of go to speak and stop myself, go to speak, stop myself, go to speak. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, mate. Yeah. Uh, may I ask you a question between us as mates? You, you just did. <coughs> In Gabriel, when you were smuggling or seen smuggling, have you met anyone called De Smith? Ah, uh, they're an old Filverell slash Elven human kind of. They were a cross. A little bit. Yes. Not many. They, they went into business a long time ago. Have but you yes. met? Is. A Mr. DeSmith? No, he died a long time ago. Okay. Have you seen people that look like me? Yeah. But you specifically, or? Yes. Warforged. Like, have rough basic structure of me, maybe not quite as snazzy. <laughs> Once. Once before? An old workshop in Aramil. Not as snazzy, not as alive. Just, it was a, to be blunt, a pile of junk in the corner. Not working. Didn't have your hat. Mm hmm. No legs. One arm. Yes. This was when? Oh, years ago. 
Do you happen to know the owner of that place? No. No, I think they went out of business a long time ago as well. I'm sorry. I barely see war forces as it is down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. We, we, we done? I'm trying yeah. to think about how I'm not going to die in the next couple of days, so if that's... That's okay. Good. Thank you for your cooperation. Sure. It's weird. Eat your sandwich. Oh, wait, well, no, you, got, you guys are probably alone during that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So I show up <laughs> Fine. with a sandwich. He, he looks himself, mm-hmm. it's fucking weird. Fine. All right, so I'm not going to untie you, but uh, open wide. <laughs> So you just like... Feed the assassin a sandwich. <laughs> I go up. I'll go on. Go on. There's a dagger under Boats his tongue. Boats come into harbour. Yeah. Boats come into harbour. Well, you, feed, you feed him air. Much to his... Like, he's uneasy, but sure, why not? It's, I mean, it's I'm all. feeding him. I know it's weird, but at least he's... The people care about him enough that he's fed. So he sits eating. What would the rest of you like to do? Just wait. We need to acquire a horse to let him go tonight, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow night. Oh, is it tomorrow night? I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, in that case, yeah, we'll just yeah, he wants to spend we'll a day flying low. So Alexi is just going to go back in the room and uh, keep cracking away at the cipher. Cool. Actually, at one point, you'll probably just look at it for a second, then look at uh, Amir and go, "Right, uh, well, since, since you're uh, telling us things and your, your time as a assassin for Mister, is it Mister Fury or K Fury, or is the K a middle name? Or is Cave his middle name and Sarah no, K Fury? I think he just picked it himself. It just sounds menacing. <laughs> it's a furious cave. I don't know, twelve, twelve words of uh, word. F. Uh, bronze anyway. blue. Like, what kind um, of name is Bronze Blue? Do you know anything about the cipher? Uh, I do. Ah, uh, no, no. We're gonna have to pay up for that one, mate. Well, we uh, can't do that anymore. I'm just going to figure it out. Amir, come on. There's this guy. The client. There's other clients on there, mate. No, no, we're past that. It's not the deal. Well, we don't have money to pay him. Uh, well, luckily, friends don't pay friends. I can help with this cipher. Have you sandwich? I don't know how much help I'll be. Uh, well, anyone who can sort of uh, stand over my shoulder and give a bit of... I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. Okay, I'll... Yeah, do what right. I can. I look as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alexi, for the rest of however long, is just going to focus on this cipher. Cool. Roll on general intelligence check. Right, and uh, like Myla help. You've advantage, yeah. Great. Come on, come on. Oh my now? god, that's terrible. Oh, wait, wait, cocked. wait. That, yeah, it was cocked. Oh my god, it's worse. <laughs> uh, fuck shit. Um, six. Cool. So, with enough time, I'm going to let you brute force this. Um, it's going to take you a bit of part of four hours to, to do. Yeah, I assumed it would be. So. Sorry. After a while. Um, so. Sile shipment, 48 quarts of raw materials, sent for, it's burnt off. Payment already made by, burnt off. Milford, processed rylanthium, released to Milford, blank. Carried through usual routes, will exchange for the frostrum load, blank. Aramiln, sample sent, will arrange meeting with blank. Lead samples running late, considering new blank. Air dusk. Old route is still well guarded since blank. Last attempt across blank, blank, blank. Hmm. It's very conveniently placed. Uh, yeah, the blank server. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just right. Like, You've got a few town names in there. Yeah. Fortunately, a lot of this lines up with where we're going. Oh, wonderful. Sorry, where are we going? Milford. Oh, hey, Sass, how you feeling? How you doing? All good. Yeah? Yeah. Great. What's in Milford? How we get to Frostroom and how we get to Sarek? Also, there's a church I'd quite like to visit on the way. Oh yeah, the Raven Queen Church. Yes. Can you do that? Yeah, on the way, of course. 
Did you want to leave tonight or tomorrow? Let's... Sooner the better. All right. Let's get him out. Yeah, we can probably get him out tonight. Cool. So we can fast forward to evening. Do you guys know how you want to try and smuggle him out? We'll get him out. Or... I mean, smuggle him out. No, no one here knows what he looks like. We can walk through the street together. Okay. Oh, no. Or we can chuck him in the bag of holding. <laughs> well, who'd only have to hold... How long can you hold your breath for? I think it's a minute, isn't it? A minute plus your constitution, constitution modifier. modifier. So that would give you three minutes. Don't think we could make it there in three minutes, could we? Probably not. No. Nope. Um, oh, um, oh no, you, you can't change other people's shapes, can you? No. Hmm. Anyone have a disguise kit? No, but, but seriously, I might just be being dumb here. Why can't he just walk, why can't he walk through the town? Oh, if I get seen, I'll get stabbed instantly. There's Sarek's got people all over the place. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. That's why he's laying low. Like, yeah. I think that's why he wants to stay here. Otherwise, we could have just said, off you go and, you know, you'll be fine. He needs to get out of town. I didn't quite connect. Tie him up and put him in the bag. Carry him there. <laughs> well, then we're walking through town with a wriggling person-shaped bag. And I, I'm... I'm you no, probably tied enough rope around him. He just looked like a big, a big egg at this we point. Could roll, so. We could roll him up in a carpet. And they could look like we're carrying a carpet. Well, then, then there's going to be carpets. five fully armoured uh, adventurers. Oh God, we're adventurers, aren't we? Uh, walking round with a carpet. <laughs> and again, I am trying to keep somewhat of a... Low profile. Yes. All right, yeah. And All we right. need to find a horse. <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, go on, man. Um, we're going to give you a new cloak. We're going to wait until a decent amount of nightfalls happened. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to put your arms around two of us. You are going to be stumbling. You are going to have your head down and you are going to look like you are absolutely blind drunk so that no one can see your face or your features and you are wearing a totally different cloak. We will walk you to that place and get you out of town. All right. Let's do it. Sound good? All right. All right. Do you think that's the one to go? Who feels like they can barter for a horse? There are some stables pretty nearby. You can, you can get some. <laughs> People tend not to like me. You're doing better and better at that. I mean, I'm not bad at talking to people, but there is only one person to talk to about Haglin, really, in this group. I to Haglin, in case you've forgotten. You should give him a budget. Right. I'm going to come with you. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get it figured out. Okay. Right. What's the budget? I don't know, but <laughs> looking at our available funds, it's not great. All right. In that case, can we acquire a cloak or like, use one of us's cloak to swap out with his... Assassin's yeah, you'll cloak? be able to find a cloak pretty, yeah. pretty easily if you need to, yeah. I'll like like a gymnast generic. Sure for that. Cool. <laughs> um, all right, then I guess once nightfall happens, we want to try and like... <clears throat> I'm assuming there's going to be a... There's going to be a guard stationed out there. Hopefully not too many, because we've got to get a horse down there. Yes, we need to have the horse on the uh, other side of the tunnel. Well, we could just get it down there, and he could take the horse through the tunnel. It's about eight foot tall, if I remember correctly. You'd be able to fit a horse through there. Yeah. Where yeah. are we taking him back to? Back to the smuggler's tunnel? Yeah, the, the fire. Hmm. So, we, yeah, we just need to... I think we can distract a guard. Yeah. Who wants to hit on a guard? I mean, I don't mind, but I would also love to hear what uh, Amir has to say. I have a sneaking suspicion it shouldn't be me. I, I would actually like, like to see that, I but maybe not when there's quite a bit uh, at stake. It also probably shouldn't be me. How about after this, we go to a tavern and Alexa hits on someone? I would pay to see that, but I don't have any gold. <laughs> Let's uh, focus one thing at a time, shall we? Um, right, okay. Uh, 22 and I will go and uh, acquire the horse. Uh, the three of you make sure Amir over here uh, gets to the um, Smuggler's Den when the appropriate time has beckoned. And we will try to do this without anyone else Dying, getting imprisoned, you know, any of the things that we're becoming quite famous for. Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. All right. 
let's get into party mode. Grab some tankards of beers on the way. Great. A couple of glow sticks. <laughs> like, eyeshadow across your face makes it look like you're at the end of the night. Like, Amir, how is your acting? That is a good question. What is your charisma? It's not. <laughs> oh no. I am the greatest actor that ever did see a oh, Okay, stop. All right. Um, no. Nope. I am very drunk. You're oh. very pretty, D22. Am I, am I doing? Am I doing good? That's All right, much not much bad, bad. but much um, more just quiet. Don't say anything. Just don't say anything. Yeah. You can just. just you murmur. are totally passed out. Just do like. You just make sounds. Uh, yeah. Mm. Head mm. down. Oh. Head down. Oh. Do not look up. Lovely. Oh, okay, so you're chin to chest. Yes, very good. Right, right. A uh, bit more, bit more slouched. Like you've lost all motor control. Oh, marvelous. Uh, and you are going to need to essentially put your weight around the. Uh, Shoulders of whoever is carrying you, because yes, perfect. Stumble. What about my great voice? No, no, leave no, it. no, no. Leave, leave that. the voice okay. quiet. You are almost out of it. If you want, every now and then you can be like, I can have another. Um, I I hesitate to um, <laughs> offer this as a suggestion, but why don't we knock him out and then you heal him on the other end? Oh, what? I, I was concerned. Okay, and <laughs> as soon as he hears that, Saskia just absolutely lands one. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to make right, it roll right for hook, it. Right He's hook. He's just like, what? Cut yeah, to black. Just, yeah. <laughs> right, well, now we can hit a miss right now. You didn't even wait to ask <laughs> if I have any slots left to be able to do that. <laughs> It's okay. I up. don't know. He'll wake up. At you some can sacrifice point. your greater healing potion. Amir is unconscious and slumped oh, on your shoulders. Shit. Perfect. Right. Uh, your head on. Mm-hmm. Let's go. No, yep. I'm looked down. I've got gold all over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alexi and D22 are going to go and acquire a horse. So the stables. So it's quite a large pen near the main, main yeah. entrance. A lot of livestock, cow, sheep, and a few horses there as well. A couple of nags and one quite fine-looking horse in the back there as well. Mm-hmm. Well, hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, mate. How, how can I help? Good. Weather is nice today. It's a bit cold for my liking, but that's okay. What can I do mm, for you? Know how you feel, mate. I'm looking for a horse, but willing to pay no more than one gold. I can't help you there, son. Sorry. Minimum price is 15 gold for a little nags, and uh, they won't get you very far. What you need it for? That was a joke. Um, I would need the horse for private business reasons. Sure, I can appreciate that. A man or a... Robot needs his, uh, mm-hmm. his promise. That's completely fine. Your cheapest horse, you say, is 15 gold? 15 gold won't last you very long. Don't want to rip you off. You seem like a top of the line fellow. This one here, though. So there's a 110. Beautiful chestnut. Goes really, really fast. Mm-hmm. Name's Whitney. <laughs> Whitney. <laughs> Whitney. Mm. Yep. So you have two horses. One is 115 gold, and the smallest is 15 gold. Yes. What is the difference in terms of health and fitness? Well, you look at, like, the 15 gold one, like, scale little legs. Looks like, on its quite literally, last legs, like... Trembling just just a just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also a donkey in there as well at the back. Which mm, how much is this little fella? Oh <laughs> well, that donkey is not much. You need to ride it, or you need it for something else. Uh, riding. Let me check. Thirty gold. Thirty. Won't gold. get you very far, but it's better than the nag. How far would it get you? Oh, about half the speed of a horse. Okay. You do about 10 miles in a, in a day, give or take. Mm-hmm. What's its name? Ashton. Ashton? Ashton. 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 Lovely. Because an ass. Hmm. Okay, does he have a seat? Uh, yeah, we'll give you a bridle and a saddle on top of that for uh, 10 silver. 10 silver? 10 silver. If you throw in the seats, then I'll buy the ass for 15 gold. You want my ass for 15 gold? 30 gold? <laughs> You said it was 30 gold? 30 gold for Let's the ass. 20 gold, no confusion. 29 gold. 25 gold? 29 gold. 25.5. 29 gold to twice. 27.5. 28. 28 sold. 28 sold. <laughs> Done. Oh, the material. <laughs> 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 it, looks, it looks over to Alexian. Like it looks over to yeah. Alexian. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> look at that and go, no, it's no deal. Or the assassin is effectively unconscious. <laughs> it's an yeah, ass for the assassin. I need the information. <laughs> That's fair. You have bought a donkey for 29 gold. <laughs> With a saddle. Yes. <laughs> Alexi. That's a good neck, for what it's worth. Alexi, uh, I have found quite the bargain. 
29, only 29 gold and That's not a horse. saddle. <laughs> yes, but it does the same thing. No, it doesn't. <laughs> It does. It can, you can ride donkey <laughs> like you ride horse. Well, yes, but what, one's, a, one's a horse and the other one's... Well, objectively, we are still holding our end of the... Bar. No, he said horse. Um. <laughs> My suspicion is, and to quote you, people deserve what's coming to them. And he, <laughs> even though he is helping us, is not a particularly nice man. So the idea of him taking twice as long to do the journey in discomfort makes me... Ha, ha, ha... <laughs> All right, well, two things. Uh, first of all, uh, don't say ha 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 when you refer to laughing. Mm-hmm. Just just say it makes me laugh. Okay. Right. Okay, next. Um, that's a don't... Mm. <laughs> if um, we say it's the only thing they had... Well, are you a good liar? Because, as you can tell, I'm really not. I'm a brilliant liar. If you back tell me, me up... Tell me a lie. You, you back me up. Tell me a lie. You tell did. you a lie? <laughs> just, just, just DM jump me in for a second. Like the donkey would do the job it needs to do. It's just not as quick. But right. Yeah. Well. Okay. How enough. much? Three, three, thirty, twenty-nine gold. I Plus only paid 28? twenty-eight gold and got a free saddle. Right. Uh, then Alexi, being the money, will just walk in, <laughs> hand him two hundred eighty silver. Yeah. Thanks, partner. That's ass. <laughs> right. Well, let's get um. Let's get Aston Kutcher to... Uh, <laughs> no! 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 It is done. Oh. I mean, look, if it was the horse, I was going to call him Naval Chamberlain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is terrible. <laughs> yeah, you should play a tragedy bard. <laughs> Just like, throw the saddle on her. Well, you know, at least uh, this way he's not going to wind up with testicular torsion, so we'll, uh, that'll be fine. Um, right, okay. So you make your way back through the crowd, talking <laughs> about testicular torsion, because why not? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> you bring it back to a man. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Uh, just kind of, well, I mean, he's unconscious, isn't he? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. so we've Wimped. got we've got Amir, yeah. and we're all going like we'll be heading for. Shiny oh. way to go. Come on, oh. I'm oh. <laughs> Yes, that's a song for drunken. Uh, no, man. <laughs> performance checks, every single one of you. <laughs> you Group mean. performance check. Everything. I'm loving angels, <laughs> and I would walk five hundred miles. One. Performance, was it? Performance, James. Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> you guide yourself. Hello. Oh, which, yes. is, which is good. Uh, so that's 12 plus my guidance, which I think is a buffer d4. Yes. 10. 10, cool. 12 plus. Performance, James. For pretending to be drunk? Oh, I'm not there. Oh, okay. Then 14. Yeah, we're 14. <laughs> so, between the girls, it's not the most convincing rendition of our... Uh, being pissed. Um, ironically, D22 tried to join in <laughs> and looks drunker than the rest of you. Good, good job. Uh, but you, you approach, you approach the uh, the dusted brand, and there's about three guards posted outside in the later evening. Uh, what, what is your business? I, I am looking for Captain Thane. Can you point me in the right direction? Captain Thane will be back at the barracks uh, this time. Uh, Would you mind escorting me? I've got some private business to discuss regarding the library of the fair. Of course. Were you involved with this earlier t- today? Uh, I was here, but, like, you know, I came to help get my friend out. Right, right, yes, yes, of course. Um, what, what was it specifically <coughs> discussing? Am I, am I allowed to know? I'm about afraid that's above your pay grade. Ooh. 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 Okay. He looks a little cut. I'm oh, sorry. It's, it's you, you're not wrong, sorry for prying, I should know my place. Uh, yes, please, of course, come come with me. Thank you. Any? Would you, could, I have, could we have an escort? What I, the information I have is very sensitive, and I'm a little bit afraid. Yes, of course, of course. Um, Bolo, and Bolo, recognising you guys from before, comes, oh, yes. Hi. 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 Is um, everything okay? Yeah, I was just looking for an escort. Do you mind if uh, a couple of you no, guys no. come with me? Please, please, of course, of course. So two of the guards, leaving one still posted up front, right, but two yeah. of the guards go. And I'll walk them away. Cool. That was Captain Thane. Just ask you. Go hit on the guard. <laughs> you can... Um, it, it, it's that, or I, I, I could uh, play up the noble thing and try to hire 
him. I'm assuming it's he. That was very rude. That was me? very rude. It's a she. It's a she now. You take three damage points for sexism. <laughs> Seconded. <laughs> Do you want to go hit on her? I think you both should. Yeah. How, 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 how do we both hit on someone? I've never hit on anyone before. But actually hit them. <laughs> Ask them if they want a threesome. I'm cloistered, <laughs> but I'm not that cloistered. <laughs> right. Uh, what do we... Just just chat, Alexi. you just got to chat. You've got to give them some charm. <clears throat> Have a wink in there. I'm sure she'll love oh, it. I don't <laughs> think that would look particularly lovely. Um... Right, well, if I look like I'm failing, come and bail me out. Sure. <sighs> Sorry, pushes, I need it. Pushes, pushes <laughs> ever so slightly. Hi. Hello. She's a young, young human with, with dark brown hair. Um, sorry, I you, you, you just, you, it, it's a bit cold out here. I, I wanted to make sure that you, you were all right. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, she's in a cloak. She's, I'm just doing my job. Oh. Appreciate that. No, it's, it's it's all right. It just looks a bit uh, lonely. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm kind of new in town. Is do you mind if I just? I don't know many people. Can I just d- talk to you for a bit? Sure. I mean, well, they just abandoned me for some blue elf girl, I guess. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy to hang. Mm. Do you see many elves here? No. I'm all dwarves. Hmm. Come, oh, I mean. Come back. I mean, well, that's you know, you know, some 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 people say that uh, they, they they think elves are are, are very uh, uh, attractive. I'm I'm not. Oh, okay. Oh no no I I I'm not either. I'm I I I much more prefer uh, sort of uh, darker haired women. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep. Um. Oh, sorry. Um. Um, my name, my name's uh, Alexi, uh, by the way. Um, Meredith. Meredith, it is a pleasure to meet you, Meredith. Um, Likewise. Um, she takes a spear out of hand and awkwardly shakes yours. And... Alexi sort of like takes a hand and then remembers like how things work in Cold Haven and just turns the hand and just sort of goes to very lightly just kiss the knuckle. Okay. <laughs> is something I can help you with, Alexi? Or do you? Sorry, I um. Uh, my, Why are you my, sorry? My, my 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 friend over there. Um, uh, we were. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I you can tell. I, d- I don't normally do this. Um, no, you, no, you're very bad at this. Yes, Alexi, um, hi. I, 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 sorry, is this gentleman bothering you? He's not really. He's no. He's very daring. Alexi, oh. have you had too much to drink? Have I had? Why too don't much you go and take a seat? <laughs> oh, yes. Do? Take a seat. Right, I'm gonna go. Sure. Yep. I wasn't going back. Nice to meet you. Uh, Stay safe. Yeah, 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 uh, uh, and you. I'm sorry if you said anything untoward. No, Sometimes he, he can he really seems, just chat. Seems <laughs> Crap. harmless. Sorry, what's your name? I'm Saskia. Uh, Meredith. Meredith, that's a lovely name. Yeah. Really nice. You have great eyes, by the way. Thanks. Thank, what color are they? They green. Oh, like a thing. like a hazel. Wow, I love that. You're the you're the gold. That's an interesting yes. color. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. So, how are you doing tonight? Yeah. Um. Quiet. I'm it waiting is. for my friends my, to get back. I should. Where, where are they gone? Well, they just went to escort one of the elves. I think. Oh, I think it might have been one of my friends. Oh, I'm, I'm right. sorry, sorry, we've taken your company away from you. I can, I can wait with you if you like. I wouldn't. I feel like you need to look after your friend. You seem oh, like it's a bit okay. He's, Myla's he's already fine. like. Myla is sat there just gently like consoling I, Alexi. Just, yeah, he'll be fine. It's just this face. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't enjoy any of that. He'll, you he'll, did very. No, you didn't. I didn't offend him, did I? I no, mean... gosh, no, of course not. All right. He um, isn't used to speaking to many people, so he people just go up and talk. Felt like slightly out of his depth, right? If you like, you can yeah. teach him some pointers. I, I probably should do actually. Right. So how long have you been posted here for? Oh, a few weeks. Oh, right. It's Are you quiet. enjoying it? Yeah, it's fine. Money's good. Yeah. Do you meet many people? Or? Not really. No one really <clears> talks <throat> to the guards. Oh no, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you seem like a like a lovely lass. Well, thanks. We should get a drink later, you know. I'm, yeah. Like it's pretty cold out here, and um, I mean, I, I get off in about about an hour. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we should definitely. Yeah. I mean, could could you sort of get off a bit earlier? I can't really leave it here. I mean, there's no one else mm. here, but. Oh okay. Yeah. Um, well, well, we'll see when your friends come back whether we can sneak you out a bit earlier. Sure. Yeah. 
be nice. If you wanted to go, we can wait here. I, I'm. He's I, not I, going anywhere for a while. I can't. I can't really leave this place unguarded. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. It's just mm. me. Yeah. There's no one inside. Nice. That's a bit, you know, risky. Um. Just give me, just give me two seconds. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. D- didn't one of you have that thing where you could turn can, into can, looking can like I, someone can else? Can I not dis- disguise, disguise myself yourself as one of the guards? guards yeah, left. and then come back round, and I can get rid of her, and we can that's sneak. A great, that's yeah, a great, great idea. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I want to cast yeah. disguise self out sure. of the way to look like one of the guards that's walked away. <clears throat> okay. Sure. So you cast disguise self, and the light refracts, and yeah, you turn into one of the one of the town guards. Same spear, mm. same equipment. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you okay? Yeah, feeling fine, thank you. Right, yes. Um, um yeah. oh, hey, well, hi. Uh, um, are I, you able to, I to guard this person? I think I can manage it from here on out now. Who, who sent you? Hmm? Who sent you? Who sent me? Yes. Where? <laughs> to relieve... <laughs> who? To relieve me. Boss. Boss. Boss's name? What's his name? What's the boss's he, name? What's our boss's he name? Captain, he, he knows the captain's name. He knows the captain's name. What's your, captain what's your, boss's, what's your boss's name? I'm asking what your name is. No, I was wondering what you I thought uh, you asked me first. <laughs> Dane. What? Captain Dane. Captain. Oh! Okay, <laughs> alright, alright. It was a joke. <laughs> Ca- uh, captain, captain Dane. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say it. Don't, no, don't say it. Oh, Ooh. nine. Oh. Inside check. Make well, a seduction roll. Yes, now you've got to try to you... look sexually appealing. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't you just yes. want to give up your evening for this? Do you want to come to see my natural one? Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes. I have to, I can see yes, it. Yes, Meredith. Wow. What the hell was that? It's my well, dice. I'm not throwing a dice. No, throw? did you just throw uh, a dice? It was a natural one. That's bullshit. Uh, All right, Maria. Are you, are, you, are you new? Hmm? Are you new? Yes. Oh. yes, yes, I am. You should a new person should be here by themselves? No, it, it's absolutely fine. If anything, I, I you was You look like a strong man. I, I was feel incentivized like could... to uh, look after the place <laughs> just on my own uh, as experience. You building. look very tall and handsome. Thank you. So, okay, so... Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I've got How it from here on out, chap. Make a persuasion check. Fifteen? You sure you've got it? Yes. Okay. You got a whistle? He pulls out his compass and puts it away. Like, yes! <laughs> Don't tell the boys. <laughs> so, we I round the corner. Yep. Um, and... Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> no! You're just gonna yeah. have to go, go on a, a date. Yeah, you're, you're just gonna, gonna have to go on a date. Day. Sure. Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> so we go back to the... Uh, Go to the tavern. Yeah. And, uh, A different um, one than the one we're sleeping at, please. <laughs> yeah, just the nearest one, I assume. It's nearest tavern. Yeah. Um, and I... There's, there's, there's a little drinking hole called the Foxy Weasel, which actually, is just on the corner. Yes! Yes! So actually, my my pal Alexi has all my money. Um, <laughs> oh, this is really awkward. I forgot my wallet. Are you, are you joking? Uh, um, you know okay, what, I, no, I, 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 I was like, Meredith, just wait right here. I'll be back in 30 seconds. I Please, just please wait here. You are, you are fabulous and I want to drink with you. Just, I'm, and my friend holds... Just drink with me? Or the we shall see. <laughs> uh, I drink from you. Persuasion um. check with advantage. 18. Nice. Cool. Meanwhile... You got 30 seconds and you go. Meanwhile, we are taking Thingy down inside cool. and the yep. and the donkey. As soon as Meredith is yeah, gone. Yeah, we're just yep. straight in there. Straight, yep. straight in. So you come down, there's no one in there, there's no there's no light or anything. Yep. But you do see some of the moonlight spilling through and there are a couple of boards that have blocked up the smuggling hole on the other side, which you're going to need to pry off. Uh, yeah, I'll get Alexi will get the like a water flask and just like <laughs> in his face. <laughs> I'll cast healing word on him. <laughs> Thank you. Because I'm a nice person. Um, as I run back, 
I'm like, we have four and a half minutes until she knows I'm not coming back. Uh, Alexi, like, Alexi let's just go. doesn't even look and just hands out a small pouch. Go, there's 15 silver. Oh. Just go on the date. <laughs> just go Just go on the okay. date. Oh, I really don't I, have, I, I, she have I, I, to. Oh, we like, we're, going to need, go. we're going to need a lot longer than four minutes. Fuck's sake. <laughs> takes the 15 silver, Show legs it back good to Meredith. <laughs> He's like, what would you like? Hey, it was fine. Fantastic, come right up. Cool. Two ale, please. And you can start having your date. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what would you like to do? Oh, we need to ask him quite so... Rest you, you, you need to heal him. Um, I've healed him already. Oh, fantastic. Right, okay. Uh, hello. Yeah. All right. The rest um, of it. That's a donkey. <sighs> yes. Yeah. I said a horse. There was a horse there. And it, it's now a donkey? The donkey actually looked quite a lot better. Mm. You know, when it's one of those nags that looks like it's about to fall. Oh, I know the sword you get. Oh, fuck yeah. sake. Right. We, we incentivized them to run around the stables and the donkey won. Sure. Escaping <laughs> assassins can't be choosers. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Guidance. <laughs> Constantly. Oh, I don't even need right. it. Um, <laughs> need that guidance. <laughs> uh, that's 18 plus a d4. At yeah. 22. Right. Daddy, hey. Drink. <laughs> smuggles the red lithium out of the vial through chopped down Ithilbark, which are white trees which are exported from the Filbert which are used in shipbuilding. Uh, usually send them on ships before Erist was locked down. It's been coming through the roads for a long time. Come to Milford. Milford is sent to Frostrum where it's processed, then it's brought from Milford and then sent out through. Some of it goes up to Airdusk where it's being used on some religious works. Some of it is turned into weaponry which is being fed through the dwarves and the human race through the Commonwealth. Um, and some of it is being sent to Sile um, out where they're amassing something in that direction. Do you know where from the Vile it's smuggled out from? Primarily Whitethorn in the capital. Okay. Through the library there's some contact he has up there. <gasps> who? I'm not I, there. I, I'm not there, guys. Any oh, notion of That's who this contact might be? Have. Sarah, won't share that with us. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Why mm. would you? Um, anything else you can tell us? That's about it. Um, Frost you... giants roam there. Frost rim is pretty well guarded. And don't fuck with Sarah. He's not a pushover. I trust it goes without saying that if you have left anything out, the more you can tell us, the more chance we have of killing him and thus you being safe. No one anyone who's ever tried has been shot down pretty quickly. He's pretty quick to dispatch any uh, would be. He's not fought me. Or me. Ooh. Actually no, I heard he did, and he escaped very quickly. Made a bit of a fool out of you. He hasn't fought he hasn't fought me. Session mm -hmm. zero. Session zero. Oh yeah. <laughs> he hasn't fought me. Not oh, yet. was that him? Yeah, oh. that was him, the guy from that <laughs> All those months ago. Right. <laughs> He's a bit chubby, isn't he? <laughs> um, right, okay. He's a dwarf. And, um, tracks. What I will say is if uh, you find any Ithilbark, any silver trees, check them. It's almost guaranteed there'll be something in there. They're very good at being hollowed out and used as a silver rod and check the Ithilbark. It's a sacred tree. It's a bit oversighted, really. But if that's it. Any more about what you know about where Ryan theme comes from? The stuff about the destruction of the Fae, <clears throat> what's going on with Sarek, he's working with gods and demons, anything about that? That's client stuff, that's above my pay grade. Yeah, fair enough. Go to Frostrum. That's where he usually is these days. Just uh, checking out being followed. Mm hmm. Are you gonna follow us? Nope. Okay. Can I go? Anything you want to ask? No. Best that he goes. You? No. <laughs> I know. What's Sarek's favourite colour? <laughs> like a deep purple. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Some his magic. Yeah. Ah, oh, fair enough. It's very flamboyant. Oh, what kind of magic does he do? Uh... Bit of a necromantic kind of thing going on. Oh, that's, um... That's interesting. You should leave. Yeah. Oh, oh, I plan to. All right. 
Well, does, does it have a name, by the way, the donkey? He says he, as he gets on it. <laughs> Aston Kutcher. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I hope I never see you again. Pray that you don't. And he takes off. Good luck to you. <laughs> At a slow and steady pace. <laughs> as he trots into the distance, you hear a banging <laughs> on the door upstairs. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <clears throat> Good, 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 right, good, good, um, good. We're going to end it there. and roll again right onto yep. the first show attack. Thank That's you so much uh, for watching. Sure. And yeah, we'll be back next time with episode oh, 11. Do a first show chat because Guy needs to get the yeah, hell out of here. Yeah. That's all good. All right. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, bye, 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 bye. 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 Flirting with the idea. <laughs> yeah. It's only flirting with crime. Flirting with crime. <clears throat> it's fine. I love that as a descriptive term. It's not illegal, but it is flirting with it. Yeah. 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 Is that the uh, that's the, the Blade Brothers like slogan? <laughs> we're we're not like criminal, but we are flirting with the idea. Yeah. <laughs>